Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Sewing Street. Oh, our we, Paul? Paul's saying we're live on Facebook as well. Straight away, he's on it today, Facebook Live. Oh, I hope you're all well. I know that the rain was so loud all night, wasn't it? So um, hopefully it's uh, all okay where you are. And we are ready for a brilliant day today. We've got a jam-packed show. I'm just going to, in fact, tell you straight away, Alison Marion is here today. And... All of her kits always sell out whenever she is here. So I've already spotted that Eagle Eyes noticed that Alison was on potentially on the, the menu from yesterday and uh, have already been checking out. But if you have never watched before, welcome to Sewing Street. My name's Vicky, with you till 12 o'clock. We've got so much to do today. And starting with um, our early bird special, which is always such a, an amazing chance to open your order nice and early because we discount something really special. Now it might be something new or it might be something that you've seen before. It might be one of your favourites or one of our favourites. Today this is all of our favourites and I think these are brand new, you know. They've never even been on air before and these would sell all day long at the normal price, but today we're reducing it. So, are you ready for your early bird special? I know so many of you have already taken advantage of this on the website, so it was limited to start off with. I think we only had um, about 50 of these, and we're now less than 30. So if you do want Tilda as your early bird special, go for it now, because the price on these are, at, I mean, it's absolutely amazing. To say that you're getting eight, gorgeous fat eights uh, for £16.99. All eight fat eights in those beautiful classic Tilda prints and colours. Uh, these are your classics. I don't like to call them basics really. They're just really, really, it says on the uh, that they're called Sophie basics, but they're so pretty and they would mix in with so many of your Tilda fabrics from any collection that you've got. If you watched yesterday's show, we were talking a lot about Tilda fabrics actually. We were, we were looking at the Tilda quilt book and we we're talking about lots of different um, Tilda collections and these would go absolutely perfectly. So a fat eighth, just so you know, uh, just so you know, is half of a fat quarter. So you're getting a real great amount of fabric um, to experience all of those different prints and all the different colors. Also, I just must stress that this will sell out very, very quickly because of that price. They're normally around about, um, well, I'll show you how much they are. If you go onto um, the web, not our website, if you have a look elsewhere on the website, we've done a quick search this morning and live on the web this morning, we found the exact same fat eight. Um, at what price, Paul? £21.50. There you go, £21.50. So the exact same ones for £21.50. Um, and, I mean, you need to spend an extra few pounds to get your free delivery there as well. Uh, today, even with our delivery costs, remember it's one flat rate all day long, £3.95. So if you've opened your order nice and early, it's only one PMP of £3.95 all day long. Um, and there was another one as well. We found another one. This one, again, over £20. In fact, over £25. This is £26.99 for the exact same Tilda pack uh, from the beautiful Bon Voyage collection. 100% cotton. The same ones for just our early bird special price. Less than £17. Absolutely amazing value for money. £16.99. Okay, we are nearing up on selling out of this one in the first few minutes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm quite um, reluctant to open these, if I'm honest, because this will be one of those 20 that are left. Um, please do check out as soon as you can. These are beautiful, even dare I say the word, blender fabrics between lots of um, other Tilda fabrics that you've got, or even just mixing it with any of your solids. They're going to look stunning. £16.99. What I'm going to do is I'm carefully going to shimmy one of these out so you can see the size of a fat eighth. It's lovely quality cotton. It is lovely quality cotton. It's 100% cotton. Beautiful colour. And that's the size of a fat eight, so it's half of your fat quarter. Um, there's now less than 10 of these. We're nearing up on selling out of the stock in less than five minutes, 16.99. I've got a feeling today is gonna be busy, 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 busy. If you've opened your order nice and early, stay with us. Have you noticed the kits that we're launching today? If you um, love a bit of traveling uh, traveling and sewing on the go, then our EPP kits that Alison's brought on with us are amazing they're perfect for that and have you spotted what's in the background 
the uh, aprons are back. Now they are really limited as well. Uh, we're not demonstrating them today, but I just wanted to let you know that we've got some patterns back in stock. So we are gonna have a bit of a look at those later on this morning. Um, the cushions next to me as well. Now I've seen these ones before um, on one of our kit roundup shows and I've been questioning the price this morning and um, I have been told that we are going to do something really, really naughty on the price on these today. So if you've loved these cushions, if you haven't had a chance to get them before, they're beautiful applique cushions. And you can't quite see on camera, but they've got this organza over the top and they're so sparkly. They're just gorgeous. Gives that lovely shimmer and that lovely um, sparkle to them. So, um, oh, there you go. Can you see? from that organza, oh, amazing. So they're gonna be coming up. Now, early bird completely sold out. Well done, everybody who's got them. Alison's like, oh, so excited, isn't it? Uh, did you want some of these? Yeah, <laughs> she's gutted. Uh, right, so, good morning to Maxine, to Pauline, to Susan. Hello, everybody on Facebook. Hello, Glennis, hello, June. Hello everybody, it's so lovely to have a, a streaming live on Facebook. It means you can watch us on the go. We've been asking over the last few days, where are you watching us from? We had someone watching in the bath. We had somebody, um, well, lots of people were watching from bed with their cup of tea and slice of toast, I know. Someone was on the train, someone was in Australia yesterday. So let us know, just drop a comment onto the, uh, onto the Facebook page. Let us know where you're watching from. If you do like sewing on the go, maybe you are traveling somewhere where today and you've got us on your phone or your tablet um, then have we got a kit just perfect for you over the last few months I've certainly noticed it and I think everybody we've all been in the same boat where we've been forced to slow down and we all live uh, have lived in a, in a world that's a million miles an hour and whether it be that you're wanting to sew projects really quickly depending on you know whether it be for a gift for somebody or you just enjoy that speedy sewing I think we've all just really, well, I've certainly really enjoyed the actual slow sewing and doing things at a bit of a slower pace. Um, and so many people have got into sewing and got into hand sewing in particular. So the kits I want to show you, oh, by the way, before I show you the kits, We've got two items that have come into stock today, which are ideal for lots of the projects we're gonna be talking about today as well. So we've got beeswax, absolutely fantastic if you're doing any hand sewing to condition your thread. And also we've got some John James needles. The beeswax is just two pounds 49. Two pounds 49 for your Millwood beeswax. If you've opened your order, maybe you've secured the early bird already, it's sold out if you got the early bird. That's just £2.49. And then if you want the John James needles, 16 assorted embroidery needles. And these are great for on the go as well because they come in a nice little case. I know Alison was saying, normally when you get hand sewn needles, they come on a card. And yes, you know, you can make yourself little um, books like we're going to be showing you today and you can do all sorts. But it's nice to be able to just have them in a tub ready to go that you can take them on the move or keep one um, in your handbag. Just one ninety nine as well. In fact, I must say, there's no point us even really talking about this on air because it's one ninety nine. It's one of those just add to your order if you've opened your basket. So this is what we're making today. Um, they are absolutely gorgeous and they've got a great story as well. So we will talk to Alison about the inspiration and her thought and the process um, going into these kits. So they're designed for anybody who loves a bit of sewing on the go. You've got your EPP little kit here, which is beautiful. And you've got a pin cushion. You've got your little scissor keeper. You've got all of your pages to keep your different pins and needles and safety pins. It's so pretty, isn't it? Now, whether you're making this for yourself or the way that this is presented, I think would be a beautiful gift for somebody. This, as it is right now, you could send this as a gift for somebody. So I'm not sure what colorway this is, as I'm keeping it as a bit of surprise. I haven't opened these yet and I thought I'd do it with everybody at home so we could look at them all together. So they come beautifully packaged. Got the little sticker there, let me get that off. Right, so inside, oh, how beautifully presented. Aren't, aren't they absolutely beautiful? So you have, all of your instructions. Now it's Becky's travel sewing kit, who I know is Alison's daughter. Um, we will talk more about Becky as well and Alison um, in a few minutes. So you've got all of your instructions, really lovely clear photographs as well and step-by-step -step instructions going through everything 
um, that you need. And in fact, actually, do you know what? You don't really need much else other than some thread to sew it together. You can do it on your machine, but if you haven't got a sewing machine or if you do want to do sewing on the go, then you don't actually even need to do this with a machine. So you have in here all of your lovely fabrics. You've got your wadding. You've also got, oh look, they're like little sweet packs, aren't they? This is so cute. Oh gosh, hang on, right. I love this. I know I'm taking a stick <laughs> I'm so bad at um, opening packaging. <gasps> oh, look at this. Hang on, you're getting a tape measure in there. Oh my word, a retractable tape measure. You're also getting all your ribbon. You're even getting a little pair of scissors. This is such a beautiful gift for somebody. You've thought of everything, Alison. This is such good value, $22.99. You've got all of your um, hexes. All of your little hexes, you're getting some beautiful flower buttons. They're really nice buttons as well, aren't they? Your little flower buttons. You're getting your skeins, your ribbon. I didn't realise when I was showing you the end result, I was thinking, look, this is what you can put in. You can put your pins and things in. She's also added some pins, some hand sew needles, some safety pins, all of your different coloured skeins and ribbon. Um, so even if I were to say, look, you need to add um, something to weigh your pin cushion down. No, she's thought of that too. You've also got your pin cushion sand in there <laughs> to weight your pin cushion down. She's literally got everything that you need to get going. $22.99, that is incredible value for money. Right, um, it, this is almost like we were, me and uh, Alison were just talking about Glastonbury actually, saying um, that Becky um, actually volunteers at Glastonbury. She goes to lots of festivals and things and likes to sew on the go. But when we have Alison's kits, they're like Glastonbury tickets that they sell very, very fast. But today, I think we've almost made it like um, uh, everybody who gets it, you need to just go through a bit of a secret code to get it. Unfortunately, it's not just directly underneath us. So what you need to do is jot down the item code number, or type that into the search bar on the website, which is JWA258. If you type that in and then you'll see this colorway, this is the pink um, and yellow colorway underneath us on the website. You'll see it there, then it will take you straight to that page. It will come up if you type in the code. You just gotta type in the code. Okay, so that's the um, the pink and yellow. We've also got two other colorways. She's absolutely spoiled us. So then I'm gonna just go for my next box. Again, it's a lucky dip. I'm not sure which one this is, but you can choose, remember, which colorway you want. I like the fact that this is a project that you can sew on the go. So if you love travel sewing, it's then going to be useful for you to take um, all of your projects when, when you've completed it. So this is like, I love this one because this is like the, um, the retro we one, isn't it? This is really lovely and traditional and retro. So you've got all of your pins, your hand sewing needles, your ribbon. You've got everything that you need to create this beautiful, beautiful little EPP folder. Even your scissors, even down to your scissors and your retractable tape measure in there. There's a pocket for it. So you have all of your fabrics. All of your fabrics, all of your little bobs, bits and bobs. I won't open this one. You saw it's exactly the same as what you uh, had in the, the pink and yellow. Plus, once again, you're getting your pincushion sand. You've got your wadding, all of your uh, fabrics. And the code for this one that you'll need to just type into the top of the website is HGA285. Fab, have you got that? HGA285. Or call the customer service team and they'll be able to help you. If you phone up the customer service team, it's free to call from anywhere in the UK, landline or mobile. That's the orange Allison kit, which is really cool. Quite retro looking, isn't it? Traditional, I love that. Okay, and then the last colourway before we get Alison on is, well, it must be our, um, our green and rose which is lovely and zesty, isn't it? Whoops. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is your green. Alison's actually put stickers on for us and we didn't notice, Kat, so you can see which colour it is. <laughs> oh dear. It's nice to be able to do like a bit of a lucky dip anyway, isn't it? And I just think they're so beautifully presented if you're sending this as a gift for somebody. They've got everything they need to get going. I've got so many friends, you know, who have said, oh, 
we made me one of those. And I just think, do you know what? I'll send you the kit and you can make one yourself. Or they've always said, oh, I'd love to get into sewing. It's, this is a lovely kit that you can just do as a little bit of a pastime in front of the television even. You don't need to sort of, when I'm on the sewing machine, I always find I have to focus and not watch the telly. Whereas, you know, in the evening, especially as it's getting a bit darker now in the evening, it's nice to have some nice bits of sewing to do on the sofa. So you've got all of your fabrics that you need. These are the beautiful limes and rows all of your little haberdashery and notion bits, including all of your scissors and your pins, um, your retractable tape measure, your felt, everything that you need. It's all co colour coordinated as well, along with the kit, your wadding and your pin cushion sand. Because these are all weighted down. Alice was saying, it's nothing worse than when you pick your pin out of your pin cushion and the pin cushion comes with you. So it's brilliant that, you know, it's a weighted pin cushion as well. It was going to stay on your desk. Um, and you get all the lovely buttons as well. They're so beautiful. So, oh, I should show you the um, the corresponding colourway, really. So that's for this one. Graphics are live for this colourway. Just £22.99 for rose and green, which is absolutely beautiful. I even love the ribbons. Like organzary with ribbons are so pretty. Oh, we love it. Don't forget, the item code number is RGA212. Sorry, I know it's a bit of a, a faff, but it really is. And if you go onto our web shop, which is www.sewingstreets.com, it will redirect you to Jewelry Maker. And if you type in the code at that first search bar, it will take you straight there. So it's really nice and easy to find. Or if you um, are thinking, do you know what? I'm just going to ring somebody. Ring the customer service team. They're so lovely. They're so lovely. And that one's called the Rose and Green Travel Set. Okay. Oh yeah, do you know what Paul's going to do for you? He's going to write a comment on Facebook. You can't just volunteer yourself. He was thinking out loud. He was like, I could put a comment on Facebook with the codes for everybody. That's so kind of you, Paul. And now he's like, oh, I've got to do it now. I'm like, yeah. You can't volunteer yourself for lovely things like that. Cat, would you like him to? You could say no, Cat. No, Cat says yes. Thank you, Paul. That's very kind of you. Who's watching in Australia? Is it the same Sharon in Queensland? Oh, hello, Sharon. Lovely to have your company this morning. Well, I say this morning, it's this evening. Oh, she's saying I'm sad because we're not posting to Australia at the moment. Watch this space, fingers crossed. Um, soon enough, we'll be able to do overseas deliveries as well. That'll be good. Um, right, thanks, Paul. I think Paul's doing your item codes now, so you'll easily be able to find those on the website. If you want the cushions from the next hour or the aprons, um, they are below us on the web, so you'll be able to find them. Or just type in Alison Marion on Sewing Street and you'll be able to find them. Right, shall we get the lady herself on? We are going to have a look at all of these kits and how to make this gorgeous EPP. If you haven't shopped with us before, this is how you do it. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Oh, I'm so pleased. I finally got the chance yeah, to meet you, right. Alison. How nice are you? Nice to meet you. I'm fine, thank you. Hi, it's lovely to have you back. Thank you. And especially with such beautiful, beautiful kids. <laughs> now, Becky's your daughter, isn't she? She is, yes. Yeah. Um, and she absolutely loves EPP and Hexies especially. And she made herself a needle case. Um, she's down in Cornwall and I went down for a, a weekend a few weeks ago and I said, oh, your needle case is lovely. She said, Mum, I bet people who haven't done hexes and, and any EPB before would love to do this because it's so easy. So we sat down 
And so this is hot off the press. Kids. Yeah, yeah, only a few weeks ago. Well, it was. I went down after I did the Christmas show. Oh right. So I drove straight down to Cornwall then, and it came about because of her needle case. And I said, well, because she said I always take it everywhere with me because she does go to festivals and she follows a few bands and goes to London and she goes on the train. Yeah. So uh, she takes her EPP with her, and we sat down and said, well. If you're travelling, what do you need? She said, well, I'm always losing my scissors. So a scissor keeper was one of the things that we thought was a necessity because if you're on the train and you drop your scissors, you, yeah. you're looking around for it. But with a scissor keeper, it's easier to find. So we've put this, the scissors in a little hexi. Lovely. Um, it's all based around the hexes, really. And then this here in the centre, there's... Enough ribbon for all these bits and pieces. I'll get a, a thing of thread. That's to put your thread in. So you're going to tie your thread there, oh, not your amazing. thread. So yeah. that you've got your thread as well. Oh, I see what you mean now. So yeah. I mean, that's all you need to add is yeah. your thread, isn't yeah. it? And she said, you don't really use a lot of pins. What would be better would be safety pins because oh. if you're travelling, you don't want to lose your pins out of your fabric when mm -hmm. you're doing it. She said safety pins would be handy. So there's a few safety pins. And then for those times that you do actually need a, oh, a tape measure, there's a retractable tape measure with a little thing on there so that it comes out of the pocket. So that's brilliant. Everything is thought of, isn't yeah, it? I think so, yeah. And this one... All of the kits, you can. There's enough fabric to for you to use either colourway for right, you know, the spine and the inside and the outside. So um, your your outside. This one was actually sewn completely by hand. Oh, lovely. this one. You don't have to have a sewing machine. I'm going to use the machine today purely for speed. Mm -hmm. But this one was done Stop by the machine, machine, and it's been top stitched by machine. But the yellow one was made by machine, but top stitched by hand. One thing that I have put in the yellow spot kit, I've put in some extra thread. Yeah. Because although I've done yellow for the scissor keeper and all the bits and pieces, because yeah. I've done that one on my, my one, I thought people might think, oh, I've got yellow, not pink. So I've just put in a little bit of extra pink in that one so that you can do that. Oh, beautiful. And all of them have um, a contrasting centre but I will point out that I used the excess felt on this one. So this is not This is just a hexagon piece of felt. So that's not actually turned over at the edges. Right. So there's lots of different scopes to also make it your own, isn't yeah. there? And yeah. change it about a bit using the different fabrics. Yeah. So we're going to try and show you as much as we possibly can. EPP, for anybody who's not done it before, um, you've also got the cards in there. So it's yeah. basically fabric wrapped around paper, isn't it? Yes, it is. You've got... You've got your um, hexes here. Um, I've done the large ones and the small ones. They can be used more than once. Okay. So um, actually, I think the ones that I've got here to demonstrate with in my case, yeah, these have been used more than once. These ones, you can see they've been pulled off the fabric. And I will just um, say a few things about the different ways of doing the hexes because I personally think that so the sew line glue pen is a revelation for anyone that likes doing this. <laughs> Did you use to thread based before? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So like we converted look. you. So this is <laughs> this is what a tradi traditional um hexes. Could you just go to the right be. slightly? Paul's asking. My right. Yeah, thank there you. We go. Perfect. Okay. So okay. this one here, you've actually got your thread I've got one here somewhere that I started. Oh, there it is. I threaded my needle as well. So what you're doing with this one here, there we go. this one here, you're not actually gluing it. I can't get my nails. There we go. <laughs> you're not actually gluing it. You're, at, you're folding over and you're catching. your fold. So that's one fold. And then you would go around to the next one. So you're not actually going into the paper. No. With this one. Right. So that's the traditional way of doing it. Or Kat's saying thread base is always sort of bamboozled, me. Yeah. That it's actually quicker than I, I, I thought it actually. 
Well, I, I tend not to do that because the papers can move. Yeah. I mean, you are going to press them, but what I have always done up until the sew line yeah. pen was actually go through the papers. Right. And traditional people that do EPP are, don't like that. Well, it's hard all. to take your papers out then, isn't it? Yeah. So that's what, how quickly you can do it. If you want, a if you want to do it like that. Right. But with the sew line, can I use that one? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, they're so good, aren't they, for all sorts. I know you do bags and, all, uh, and everything, don't you? Yeah. Inserting zips, yeah. these are brilliant. Okay. So all you do, I mean, I've used these before, as you can see. I tend to use junk mail for my hexes, my papers. So I just put a piece in the middle. Now, you, these are Whoops. quite small hexes, That's aren't That's why they? I'm doing this one, so you can see how lovely it is using the Soline pen, because they are tiny. So I just put a tiny little bit of glue in the centre. The, I think I over-glue then. You don't need much, do you? Well, I'm going to put it on the outside. Now, when I was here last time with um, John, he actually glues the paper. It's... it's um, I... I find so many people do different things. I always ask you this question, Kat, don't I? I say, do you glue the paper or any... She says, well, sometimes it depends on what mood I'm in. Do you put the fabric or the paper? I do the fabric. Fabric. Yeah, because you you risk, when you're doing it with the, with the paper, you risk getting it here. So all I do... Am I in the middle? Can, yeah. And you've go. given yourself quite a good sort of there seam allowance as well, haven't you? So it's not too yeah. fiddly. No. So that's over there. And then we'll go. Ooh. Bearing in mind, this is a very, very small hexi. I think I don't use enough fabric around the outside and I make it hard for myself trying to, you know, put fabric around the hexi. I, I don't actually do... I mean, some people um, draw around that and then, then cut out their fabric. But... It makes life so much easier for yourself if you leave a good turn. So do you get plenty of fabric in the kit to be able yes. to do that? Yeah, there's loads, yeah. There we go, so that's that one there. Oh, and then... So quick. Yeah, that one needs folding over a bit more there. And then something else that is really handy if you're travelling, I'll just reach over and get this, because you're not going to have access to an iron this thing and is, this is absolutely so, marvellous. You yeah. hadn't used before. No, no, there were three things on my last show. I used this, um, the snips that I'll be using in a minute, and oh, what else did I just say? I can't remember what else it was I said, but I've, um, yeah, there was something else that I used, and I've got all of them now. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> It costs him a fortune, me on here, because when I use something new, he goes and buys. Oh, it for you me. get to play with all the gadgets, don't you? But, but actually, I can't have the Tilda fabrics; they're sold out. <laughs> the the roll and press, though, is actually more sort of. It's a lot stronger than you think. It you is. Think, it's oh, that's, brilliant. Is that going yeah, to work? And, but it does. And if I'd have known about it when we were doing the kits, I'd probably have made them a bit bigger so you could have put one of those in. <laughs> brilliant. But uh, yeah, so that's how quickly um, you can do your um, hexes. And with and this sew line glue pen, it, it's it's not like using a, a print stick or different craft glue, is it? I've it's... used other basting glues, and right. they don't come undone very easily. You you tend this is to temporary glue. yeah, you tend to pull the fabric more, but with the sew line, it comes um, apart nicely. Ah, oh, that's good to know. That is good to know. So, right, we've done our. Oh, I'll just finish that one off because I'm going to sew this one on. Because I'll explain to you now why you've got a big pin cushion, although you won't take that on your travels. <laughs> um, for anybody that hasn't done hexes before, I thought making the little tiny scissor keeper there, that's quite tiny to start off with. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, if I put in something so that you can actually make a larger pin cushion, it's exactly the same. The instructions. Um, you make the scissor keeper and the um, pin cushion exactly the same, other than putting in the sand. Right, okay. And that came because Becky bought me a lovely Liberty little mouse pin cushion, oh. and I love it. Well, I think she bought one for herself as well. But you put your pins in and you lift it, and the, the pin cushion comes away oh, with it. Yeah. So 
He said, well, you've got to weight it down. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's an extra. That's, you wouldn't travel with that because you, you would put your pins into your centre. Yeah. So with this one, I'll just give you a very quick... You can do your hexes two different ways. Well, there's probably more than two ways, actually, but I've got a needle here. There's, you can overstitch, which you then see a small stitch. Just if to the you right over again, stitch. slightly, please. Do you just go to slightly? That's it. Yeah. Thank you. You see a small stitch, which I don't mind. It's a handmade product, so mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. But if you want to do it so that you don't see any stitches, I don't know if Paul can see in there, you don't actually see any stitches, you do that by holding your hexi flat. I don't know if I can do this to show for the... There we go. Right, and I always knot in each corner, no matter what size I'm doing, each corner gets knotted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pick up a little bit of fabric on one side. So you you're do basically them doing flat. yeah, you're basically doing a ladder stitch. Right, okay. But rather than going one side and one one side and then the other. I'm going to take a little bit and then just take another little bit the other side. Do you and Becky both do the same techniques or do you both say, you know, oh, I do it like this, I've found it's different? We like to try different things and I've come, I've um, decided that I like doing it this way. Um, but Becky still over -sews. Right. Is that when you have them sort of flat backs yes, together? Like yeah. Yeah. I'll do, because this, let's get this one done because I want to show you how how you get the shape for the pin cushion. I'll, this is a bit homeward bounders. I'm not doing it to, not doing it very tidy, but I just want to show you because in the instructions, when you come to put together your, oh, let's come off, the scissor keeper. When you're choosing your thread, I know you need to um, add in your thread, would you go with a complementing, you've got a pink thread here? Well, I actually prefer using a silk thread, but I, Hayley did get some in, but it's sold out. Yeah. Um, so I wasn't going to mention it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> because they can't get any more at the moment. There's, the supplier is out. So um, I like to use a silk thread okay. for hand sewing. Uh, you wouldn't use it on anything if you were doing clothing or anything mm -hmm. like that because it's not as strong. But you, it sort of buries itself in. And that's what I've done with these cushions that you'll see later on. Oh, nice. Um, oh, yeah, you can't see the thread at all. No, so I like doing that. I'm just going to thread my piece through there. But there will be some more um, more coming in. Yeah, brilliant. So uh, it's wonderful stuff. And then you use the beeswax. And... I was going to say, if you're using polyester thread or cotton, do you, are you best to condition your thread when you're starting? I do, because it, it helps stop it curling. Okay. I mean, you don't want too long a piece of thread. And if you do it with the beeswax... It yeah. stops it curling. Oh, and, and that's going to last you. That's, oh, that's just yeah, going to last forever, forever. isn't it? <laughs> um, and it's only £2.49. Very, yeah. very, very, very popular. Worth, very, yeah, it's worth an investment, that one. Yeah. Um, so the instructions say to put together your pin cushion, you're going to sew up the Y section. So you've got your Y there, look. And what you're going to do is you're going to put those two together. I will just do this with... Um, really large stitches just so that I can see you where we're going and then again at the corner we'll have a knot see I haven't conditioned this piece of thread and you can see it's starting to curl if you do wow. that with your beeswax you don't get that oh that's good yeah that's knotted in there there we go just so you know, um, the graphics in at the moment for the pink and yellow, which is um, the one to the side, to the right of Alison. The one that Alison's working with is the pink and um, green. And then there's also the orange kit, which is your browns and oranges, just so, so that you know. So that's your, yeah, good that's idea. That's your rose and green and that's the... 
I just think that looks like something your granny would have. Oh, I love it's the so retro. retro thing. Yes. So that's the pink yeah. and yellow that you can see mm. on the screen. That's your pink and yellow. The that's it. Yeah. The retroy one, um, which is your orange, um, orange and brown. I do love that. It's real. It's really like quite traditional, yeah. isn't it? So that's your more um, traditional colourway. Is your orange, which is this one. £22.99. Remember, type in the code HGA285. Paul's now put them on Facebook, so you've got them there as well. It's getting a lot of people saying thank you, Paul. <laughs> um, and then the last one is the I one that Alison's please. working with, which is the pink and green. So I think you can see where I'm going from here. I'm, I'm sewing up each of the hexes. And you end up, basically, there's a photo in the instructions, you end up with a little box with a lid. Oh, okay. And you turn it, in, take your papers out, turn it inside out. I won't do it all because it will take quite a while. But So you turn it inside out, take your papers out, and then you've got your box. And like and you say, it's exactly the same way, just in miniature, to do yeah. Scissor Keeper. So it's more fiddly for the Scissor Keeper. So that's why I thought, putting in the pin cushion, you can practice on that one. Good idea. And then you've got your piece of, your packet of sand. And I do have to apologise for that because I try my hardest not to have any plastic in my packaging. But this inside, because it was going to go in the post, I thought we don't want sand over everyone's <laughs> kits. So it is inside a little um, plastic bag. But all you have to do is you just, oh, shall I take it out? Yeah, these little Friscar snips are really nice, Oh, they're aren't brilliant, they? yeah. We'll see them in the next hour, by the way. We're going to have a close look at all the Friscar schools. So all you do is you make yourself, it, you don't have to worry about um, the edges you're just going to make yourself a little a little um, piece down each side there's the fold here and you're going to sew down there and then just cut off the bottom corner of the bag mm -hmm. and let the sand run in and then fold over and make your little sand and then that just goes inside and again there's fabric in uh, enough of the green fabric oh in there yes to be able oh to yeah do it. there's plenty shall I show you how much there is <clears throat> See, that's so good, isn't it? How much fabric you get to play around with. There's loads. Yes, there's loads. And also, there's a lot of wadding as well. You'll get your wadding out and think, well, for something that side, that's a lot of wadding. But rather than put in some toy stuffing, yeah. you can cut out for your, um, your case and then pull apart the rest for your filling for your scissor keeper and your pin cushion. Good idea, good idea. So I just love how much we've got all over the desk. It just looks <laughs> so exciting of all of the bits and bobs we've got. <laughs> so that's your pin cushion. So once you've put your sand in and you fill up with your wadding, you just take the top over yeah. and, and that's then sewn around the top. And then you take a piece of your um, embroidery thread, take it right through the bottom, up through the top and then tie it off on the button. Lovely. And the so, buttons are beautiful as well. They're pretty, Because I've got like they? a little box of all buttons, but they're ones that may have come off um, tops or things, yeah. and they're just little rubbish ones. Yeah. They're like shirt buttons, yeah, no, whereas these, these are, are really, really cute. Yeah, I love yeah because you get the, um, the flower button for the pin cushion, and then the little heart button. I thought little heart button was nice yeah. in, in the centre. Beautiful. I have to say, to anybody that's encouraging children or youngsters to sew, when you get to the stage where you're actually, I'm getting all emotional now. <laughs> when you get to the stage where you're actually sewing together with your daughter and things like that, I mean, she's coming up next weekend, so we'll have a lovely week. Yeah. Um, it's really special. It's really yeah. special times. It is lovely. Oh, I love all of your sort of, yeah, the, the, the family mm. sort of uh, connections. There's always reasons behind your projects. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know how popular the aprons have been. It's really exciting that we've got those yeah, back Yeah, I started well. that for my niece's children. Oh. That was something. And then I thought, I want one of them myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're brilliant. Yeah. So we're bringing those in the next hour as mm -hmm. well. Right. So let's go on now to the actual needle case itself. Fabulous. Once you've done your little scissor keeper, after you've had a go with your um, pin cushion, yeah. I'll just show you very quickly how to do your Oh, that's your like braid. a variegated. Yes, it's it? lovely, isn't it? Yeah. 
So you're going to need to attach it to your scissors. So if you just double it over and then keep turning, this might make you go dizzy watching this for a long time on the screen. Just keep Hypnotizing going. Us. Yeah. Look into my eyes, look into my eyes, not around the eyes. <laughs> so you just keep turning it and then when you actually get it quite tight, I would do it a little bit longer than that, but you hold the two ends together and pull them in and they twist in so you've got a nice oh, I love that. a nice little braided piece and then this part here your little hoop at the end you just sew that onto your scissor keeper you just sew that end on and then this end you then put that through on your scissors because they're folding scissors they're great I've never seen those they're before. neat I mean they're not fiskers I will say they're not <laughs> <laughs> but, but when you're traveling ones, absolutely, yeah. when you're traveling up. you need to cut thread I mean you're not going to cut a wedding dress out with them are you so <laughs> <laughs> but there's a little loop on the top of the scissors oh handy That's and good. then your your other end goes through there so you're never going to lose your scissors when you're on the train love that on the airplane or whatever but so that's the braid for your little scissor keeper. That's that done. Right, with your... And you get lots of ribbon as well, yeah. don't you? We've got about 10 minutes, Alison. Okay, that's fine. That won't take long at all. So I've done this the opposite way round, and you've got a piece here with... I'll just sew this. This is for your... <laughs> this is for your uh, tape measure. Oh, excuse me, I'm just going down the basement. Everyone loves the cellar in the basement. Here, <laughs> it's the wine cellar. Well, actually, we've got one of those, and I've just, it's just occurred to me that after last weekend, we haven't checked it. Oh, God. <laughs> I know that um, rain's been really bad on you, Liv, hasn't it? Yeah, right. Okay, so we've got, this is our pocket for our, Oops, put that there. Our pocket for our tape measure. And all it is is a shorter piece. And then now we're going to treat this as one piece of fabric. Right. And I've also already added my, as you can see, I've done this opposite mm -hmm. to this one. So we've got this part here is done with the roses and the spine is done with the, with the green. So I've already put my hexes on. And all we're going to do now is to put the spine in. And to do that, you've got to make sure that your hexes are on the right side and your pocket for your tape measure is on the left-hand side because you're going to fold it together. And then we're going to take it and just sew in the spine. There's What's your seam quarter, allowance was, on this? Yeah, quarter inch to seam allowance. Okay. Um, I haven't got this set at quarter of inch, so this is a bit of guesswork. But if you are hand sewing, just a simple running stitch? Yeah. Yeah, well, when I do hand sewing, I do a running stitch for about three stitches and then I do a back stitch. Okay. Just to um, secure it a little. Have we got a. No. I've had lots of lovely messages coming in for you. Liz has messaged in. Hi, oh, Liz. Oh, hi, Liz. <laughs> She says, I love the travel sewing kit. Oh, that's brilliant. I'm just going to use this. She says, as is it can. a great start as well with a needle case to start for children, for anyone who's just getting yeah, into sewing? Perfect. Yeah. She Which is lovely because it has... came from my daughter. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love that. She says yeah. that she still has a needle case that her her mom made for her when she oh, was a child. Oh, how lovely. Yeah. She says it makes her smile every time she uses it. It's nice to have that nostalgia. Yeah. Well, my mum's still got her needle case that she made from a piece of red wool that she made me a coat. Right. When I was little. Yeah. And she's got the button in it from a pair of my start right shoes. Oh, wow. <laughs> and mum still has that, so it's lovely. That's brilliant. I think it is something, one, that's useful, but yeah. also that does become quite puzzled, becomes a bit, you know, with a story. Yeah. Of, yeah, so there really we nice. go. We're going to... And again, just the roll and press. Yeah. No need to get the, no, no, the main iron. No, I don't need iron the iron. So there's your front. So it's, it's nice to be able to know that you can mix and match as well. This is the green and rose bundle, which um, the the one that you made up had the lime with the rose yeah, spine so and I've the rose Yeah, so I've done hexi. it the opposite way around. And I have put a little piece in each of them because you'll see on this one, I've put the lemon, the yellow spot in. Oh, yeah. So there is a small piece of the, um, and that one, the lime green. So there's a little piece of that in Lovely. each of the things. So 
Now we need a piece of wadding. Less than 20 of this colourway available, just so you know. Remember, sorry that it's, um, uh, you know, you need to write in the code, but it's really easy to do, RGA212. If you're confused, let us know and we can help you out. Uh, I know that Paul's written on the, the, the Facebook feed, live feed, all the item code numbers, so hopefully you can navigate and find them on the website. Right, so you're going to take two lengths of ribbon, and this is going to be your um, piece to, to actually do up your kit. So you've got your two pieces of ribbon, and that's going to go face down, right side to right side. Oh yeah, you can see I've not done my seam allowance very well. I'm going to have to go that way so I can see. <laughs> so yeah. you're keeping your ribbons tucked in? Where They're are inside right. and I'm going to... Where's my pocket? That's the bottom of my pocket. So I'm going to leave about two inches here so that we can turn it through. So I'll just go round the outside edge. I, I wouldn't normally sew with the wadding up. I'd normally sew with the wadding down. But because I had, didn't have my quarter inch there, I've... Uh, overshot it a little bit. It seems to be dealing with it fine though. Yeah. Hello Leslie. Leslie's message from down the road. Where are you Leslie? Are you down the road from us or down the road from Alison? Just cutting up one of the apron kits. Ooh, oh lovely Leslie. Exciting. Oh please put a picture on the fan page once you've finished it we'd love to see it. We'll be bringing some odour coat as well, so if you do want to do the option, I don't know whether you saw uh, Alison talking about it last time, putting odour coat to make it water resistant. We've got some odour coat today, which you know I love. I'm a bit obsessed with odour coat. When I bought it, I was literally looking around the house like, what else can I odour coat? What else can I make water resistant? It's funny. Neil wanted to use it as hair gel, and I'm really annoyed that Paul and Kat told him not to. <laughs> I was like, why didn't you let him do that on uh -huh. telly? You let him cut a cutting mat, you let him do all this. Yeah. But you let him cut through a cutting mat, Paul. Yeah. Paul says, because I I'm saw professional. That. Did you see it? <laughs> I saw that. I'll tell you what, it does do a good cut, doesn't it? Does, it? Those yeah. electric scissors. <laughs> There we go. So I've gone all around the outside and I'm just remembering to leave your two inch yeah. gap. I suppose you want it big enough that you can turn it through, but then not so much not that you need to. Not too big. I've left it a little bit small, but never mind. So now I'm just going to snip off the corners. Becky's watching. She says, oh, mother. She should be at work. <laughs> Maybe you're watching on the go. She says, love the kit, mother. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, that's Becky, mother. <laughs> <laughs> that's so Cornish. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. We need to get Becky on it. Yes. Would she come on? Becky? Would you come on, Becky? Come on with mummy. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm going to turn it through now. Now, I did leave in there and crossed my fingers. Do you live near Cheesedale? No, I live near Alton Towers, actually. I live Cheedle. Cheedle, yeah. Not Cheesedale. Cheesedale. Cat. Cheesedale. I'd, cat I'd never heard of Cheesedale, but no, we live four miles from Alton Towers. Most people know where that is. How did um, Cat get Cheesedale I from Cheedle? <laughs> anyway, it's Leslie from Cheedle who's watching. Oh, right. Oh, I wonder if it's Leslie who comes to my U3A group. Because when, <laughs> I, when I moved to, um, moved to Staffordshire... I'm just going to chat because I've left the hole a little bit small. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I moved to Staffordshire, if you don't work and you move to a new area, it's quite difficult to yeah. meet people. So, I mean, I was a member of three quilting groups in Cornwall. And uh, then when I came up here, I thought, well, I'd like to do sewing again. And I couldn't find a quilting group. So I thought, sew on myself. So yeah. it's U3A, I don't know whether you know what U3A is. No, it's University of the Third Age and it's where people volunteer to run groups of all, all sorts of different things. They have um, oh, singing and, and Spanish and sewing. I mean, I do a general sewing. There's a quilting one as well. So oh, that's brilliant. So when was that? How long ago did you set that up? Um, about three years ago. I've been up here about five years, so about three years ago. And have you uh, started managing to open classes again? No, no, because we meet at a village hall and, right. and they, they're they too worried about um, cleaning yeah, up yeah. after classes. I suppose we've been like keeping that. you busy here, haven't we? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so there we go. You would Then you would need to press that round and go right, all the way round the outside. How much have we got left? 
got about five minutes. Yeah, okay, we'll miss that for a bit then. So we're going to, so you, this is where you will put your, your tape measure. Oh, and there's a little bit of ribbon there, a little bit of um, ribbon to go on the end of the, um, the end of the thing so that you can pull it out nice yeah. and easily. So, oh, let's see, yeah, if I got that, I'll go around the outside. But you can see with this one, I did by hand. Oh, it looks so lovely. Oh, just keep over that side, sorry, this and we'll be able to hand, see it there. And that one by <laughs> hand, but that one was machine sewn. So if I go, because you're actually going to close up the bottom as well. Could I hand stitch that, like a little slip yeah. stitch round? Yeah, that would be good. I've got pink in here as well, so. Paul's made me so conscious of this now. He says, why have you got it developed a bit of a a slip stitch? Oh, uh, <laughs> Pardon? What do you mean people have noticed? Oh, uh, my, um, I, I've, I've, I've got web shop wrong a few <laughs> times. Oh. <laughs> down shop these pins are lovely too i've put a couple of these pins in oh, because they're, they're brilliant for turning corners and things and that's a long aren't they and, and they're got... strong right okay brilliant yeah so i mean they're handy to have it's quite a nice quick project actually especially if you're running it up on the machine yeah. it's you can do your nice slow sewing in front of the telly doing your epp bits but then putting your, your uh needle case together it's actually quite a quick project You've uh, inspired Kat to get her EPP back out. <laughs> she um, was addicted to it during lockdown. The amount of times that we had FaceTimes and Zoom meetings and Kat was just always there stitching and she's stitching here. Whereas um, she said, I I've had a, a month or so where I've put it down, where she says, I'm going to pick it back up again. Yeah. Becky, you need to put your original one on that was the inspiration for this. You oh, need yeah. to put that on for on it's, Facebook, on yeah, the Facebook fans page. Is Becky on the fan page? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Becky, put it on, put it on, put it on. Veronica's asked a question about the aprons. Go on. Can I add a pocket for glasses in the kitchen? Oh, there is a pocket, isn't yes. there? Yes. There's a front pocket. Yeah, there is a front pocket, but you could put a little pocket up the top. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So there we go. That's the outside. And now what I did was I went round the outside and went round the outside of the, um, the applique, because you've appliqued that on the front, and then went round the actual shapes as well so that's holding that down in the wadding and then I think perhaps I need to take those off oops so I'll put that in half and then that in half I don't know where this hour's gone. It's been it's so I therapeutic know, yeah. actually, isn't it? I'm just gonna sew the right. Just down sew it the right center. down the centre. Yeah. You don't need your walking foot on to do that. No, no, it's fine. That's good. I mean I do tend because my machine has got um it's called an AccuFeed foot, I do tend to leave mine on all the time. Right. Um but uh, I do a lot of sewing down in the house in front of the TV on a little old vintage um singer machine oh brilliant so that doesn't have a walking foot so there we go so that's there how quick again that's come together and like you say then you've got the pocket for the uh the retractable tape yeah. measure and your scissor keeper that goes onto there and your Beautiful. scissor keeper pocket is just two two hexes yeah thank you two hexes sewn together and then sewn on down two sides and it's left open at the top and the bottom to take the scissors so you've got the double hexy and then you go down those two sides there brilliant thank you so much it's all in the instructions anyway it Any is yes um I, I feel i didn't explain very well the um let me show you in the instructions the actual pin cushion but there's a picture here look 
that in the right place. You can spin it round oh, face you, that's face fine. Me. Thank you. There's a, pot, a picture here, look, and it shows you exactly what you're going to end up with. You've got like a little pot <laughs> yeah. with a lid. Oh, it's great. You've got all the photographs. Yeah, so the so photos really there clear. where you can see when you've sewn everything up and then you put your sand and your wadding in and then you just sew down your top. Brilliant. Thank you ever so much. Yeah. We will see you in an hour. Yes. We'll see you in an hour. And now you didn't know about this discount that we found out no, about. No, I didn't. It's no. really sneaky that we've mm -hmm. done this. We're really excited. I don't know how that we've managed to do it, but it's on the graphic, so we're going to do it. So stay tuned. Alison's going to be back with us in an hour. Thank you ever so much. Right, Take all anybody, my rubbish. Yeah, don't worry. But <laughs> anybody um, who hasn't yet bought any of the kits, this is how you check out your basket. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Oh, I've loved these kits. It's been a really lovely hour, hasn't it? Uh, well, and to everybody who's already checked out, just a quick reminder for anyone who uh, just may have caught the uh, the show a bit later, here's a quick recap of what you're getting in your kit. So, I mean, they come so beautifully presented. To make the, the this is the pink and yellow option first, and you also get the added bonus, oops, of having the pin cushion as well. So it comes, as I say, all, it will be all beautifully presented. I've, um, <laughs> I've opened all of this like it's uh, Christmas Day. So in here you get all of your instructions and um, it, it includes obviously your felt, your wadding, your ribbons, your buttons, your pins, your needles, your safety pins, your embroidery skein, your hexi papers, your folding scissors, your retractable tape measure and your sand <gasps> and breathe. So you get your little bag of sand which is brilliant to weigh down your pin cushion. Um, you also have all of your hexes including your lovely little hexes, they're reusable paper Oh, thank you, Hayley. She's got it on the website. It is below us. Now is the time to check out. If you were struggling to check out before, you can still check out now. So then you've also got your yellow, which is loads of fabric to play around with. You have your pink. This is so pretty, isn't it? I love it. And it's lovely quality, I must say, as well. And you can choose whether you want to do it with the yellow and then the, the, uh, the pink hexes or the other way around, whether you do the yellow hexes with the pink book. So, I mean, it's really versatile. You can completely make it your own. Your little scissor keeper as well. And inside, you've got obviously all of your lovely um, felt pages. You do get pins and needles included. You get all of your uh, ribbon. And then the ribbon in the centre, as Alison was saying, once you've got your spool of thread that you're taking on the move, you can tie that into the centre and keep that there um, whilst you're on the train or whether you're a passenger in the car, whether you're um, going to a relative's. I know a lot of people who, who do sewing can't sit still, can't keep their hands still whilst watching the telly. They always have to be doing some sort of sewing. So this is ideal for that as well, isn't it? And it's, it's something you'll keep forever. It's lovely to hear all the stories of maybe your first scissor keeper or having a memory of maybe your mum or your grandma's scissor keeper. I think it's lovely. Then you've also got your little retractable scissors and you're getting, I love even the attention to detail with the, uh, the ribbon on the retractable tape measure. So all of that is included in the box. You also have your wadding, look at all this. It's so exciting, the little uh, retractable tape measure, scissors, your skeins, that's your ribbon that comes to go onto the end of your retractable, get, um, retractable tape measure. It would, I'm saying gift, because it would make a brilliant gift. 
It would make a brilliant, brilliant gift. For somebody maybe who's starting sewing, who'd love to give it a go, this is a real achievable project for all, for all levels, really, isn't it? Right, so that's your pink and yellow. We've also got... Oh, by the way, there are less than 15 of those available. They will sell out today. We've now got, now they're on the website, there's been a bit of a, an influx of people checking out. So be aware that's going to go. We've also got the brown and orange, which is this one. I think it's so lovely, more sort of retro feel. This feels really, really uh, sort of traditional classic. So once again, you're getting your instructions all of your very clear, thorough instructions with photographs to, to match up with it. You're also then getting all of your fabrics, which are beautiful, aren't they? They're really lovely quality cotton, really lovely quality cotton. Your wadding, plenty of wadding in there. And as Alison said, you cut it obviously for your book and then you tear the rest apart to put into, um, you know, like your little scissor keeper and your, your pin cushion. You do get your sand and then this is also, oh, I, I didn't know whether I should open it, but go on, let's have a look because it's all colour coordinated. The attention to detail that has gone into Alison's kit. Look at this. All of your hexes in there. I'm missing my button. It is like a little packet of sweets is getting all of your bits and bobs, your skeins, your ribbon, your retractable tape measure, your felt, everything all included for £22.99. They are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And then finally, the last kit is the green and pink, which is the one that we saw Alison working with. Is this one. So again, you're getting all of your bits and bobs. Let's have a look at the colours on this one. Remember, are now available on the, web, uh, the website. So if you do want to check out as soon as you can, now is the time to do it. We've got less than 10 of this colourway. This has been really, really popular. All your hexes, which are reusable. See, once you know how to do it, you can use your scraps to then make your own. But you've got everything. If you want to gift it to somebody already made up, um, you're not going to have to. It's like when you, you know, if you buy or make somebody a purse, you put a pound in or something. You've got all of your bits and bobs to put in. It's not like, oh, you're giving them an empty needle case. You've got your retractable tape measure, your scissors, all of your lovely um, pins and, uh, and safety pins, everything that's really handy. You can see how well this is how well thought out this is, thanks to lovely Becky and Alison. They, you can see how much time has, um, has been spent putting this together. Dream team mother and daughter duo. Love it, love it, love it. So that's the other colourway, which is very, very popular indeed. That's called Rose and Green. £22.99 is great value for money as well. All packaged beautifully. Um, don't forget to check out of your basket. You can check out as many times as you want and still only pay on postage and packaging. Now, we were talking about Fiskars a minute ago. We've got some great Fiskars. We've also got some brilliant William Morris gifts coming up. We've got threads, we've got um, variegated threads, and we've got Gutemann at amazing value all coming up in the next hour. So stay where you are. Also, if you do want to get ahead and make the most of Alison's other kits that are coming up up at 10 o'clock, type in Alison Marion, Alison with double L. Um, type in Alison Marion and you will be able to, uh, to make the most of those. Don't go anywhere, we're back after this. There are two ways to shop with us, either via our website, which is www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down past the live programme and either click on the Shop Our Catalogue banner to shop via category, or shop today's products by scrolling through the list under the email newsletter sign-up form. The other way to shop is via our UK call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine, Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6.
Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our t wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved. And it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. Hi there, my name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also a plique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember, but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes, but I have learnt lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. There are two ways to shop with us, either via our website, which is www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down past the live program and either click on the Shop Our Catalogue banner to shop via category or shop today's products by scrolling through the list under the email newsletter sign up form. The other way to shop is via our UK call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. Good morning, welcome back. How are you today? Come and check in, come say hello to us on Facebook Live. I love the fact that we've got that live stream now. And I find it's really sort of social as well. Everybody's talking to each other. So come and say hello to us. We'd love to hear from you. Let me know where you're watching from and what you're up to on this rainy, rainy Tuesday. Oh, it's just all cold and miserable. And I walked out and Zena, who's the presenter over on our sister channel today, she went, I love it. I love being inside and looking out and just hearing that patter of the rain. I thought, oh no, this morning I went out and realised I didn't have my coat with my hood. I thought, oh, I'm just going to carry on. And I was 
freezing this morning. It's just going all wintry, isn't it? Don't get me wrong, I love autumn, but I hate this transition of it getting darker and darker. It's not nice. Um, anyway, so come and say hello. Let me know what you're up to today. Don't forget to check out um, on any of your Alison Marion kits from the last hour and start potentially, I would say, thinking about the next hour as well. The kits that we had for the aprons have been so popular in the past. We've got them back in stock. We've also got the applique cushions back in stock. Um, and if you notice, they're a little cheeky, cheeky deal. So do, do make the most of those whilst you can. I've got Alison joining me in the next hour. Now this hour, we've got something for everybody really. Lots of bits and bobs, lots of gift ideas, some great cutting tools and threads and a lot of necessities as well. I want to start with something that's a bit different though. Um, it's the first time I've seen these. And they're great. They really are. First of all, they are Willie and Morris. I'm thinking for anybody who, uh, for anybody who has um, uh, already bought something today, and you just want to add something else to your order now, you've paid your P and P. They are William Morris magnetic bookmarks for three pound ninety nine. They are back in stock. And some of the most iconic prints, literally back in stock today. And um, uh, yeah, loads of you are already checking out. We love these prints. You can put these on your recipe books, you can put these on your patterns, on any of your instruction books. If you want, to, do you know what I like about them as well? Is because they're magnetic as opposed to just being bookmarks. Can I open them to show you what I mean? Um, I don't know that I've got, Paul, I might need you to grab me a book, yes please, because what you can do as well, if you're on a certain instruction part, thank you, so, <laughs> always there to lend a hand, so, let me show you, so if you've got these lovely magnetic, um, I'm just going to have to shim me everything, Ooh! break my set. Um, shimmy everything over the side. So I'm just thinking, if you're using instructions, they're always going to be on the left-hand side. Oh, that's fine, I suppose. Um, if you're thinking, right, I'm on section one, you can clamp it to that part. Or if you're thinking, right, I'm on section two, you can do it along with where you are at the pattern. So that if you go to the, the phone or if you come back another day, you can remember exactly where it was that you are and they're not going to be flapping all over the place. So it not only looks very stylish, they're extremely, extremely practical. And because they're little magnets inside, they clip straight to your, uh, they clip straight to your, your pages, which means they're not going to fall out when you're opening your pages. Now, these are quite thick pieces of paper as well, and it still works really, really well. You can almost do it as well as if you are looking at quite, well, they are bookmarks. Like a bookmark. I think it says, set of four magnetic bookmarks, Paul. I was like, do you know what they're like? A bookmark. Yep, <laughs> you saw it here first. You heard it here first, uh, £3.99 for all four of them. They're lovely gift ideas as well. Anybody who loves William Morris, I love William Morris. Just £3.99. And it's up to you how uh, they're back in stock today. They've literally just come back into stock. So if you do want to use them as a bookmark, like this, and of course you can have them poking out or you can have them slotted in and they're not going to be falling out. You can find your page really quickly and easily. Just £3.99, I think it's brilliant value as well for all of the lovely prints that you have. They are really nice prezzies. Just as, um, maybe just a little just because prezzy. Maybe somebody's just got into um, a new, they've been telling you about a new book. Someone's off to uni maybe part of your William Morris collection, you know somebody who loves William Morris, then these are absolutely brilliant. Is it today? £3.99 for your William Morris page marker set, all four, for £3.99. Um, where's that one? Is this one? That one's Golden Lily. Um, this one, does it say on the back? Yeah, Daffodil, Golden Lily, Honeysuckle and Larkspur, which are four of the most iconic William Morris prints. Just £3.99. Right, we had over 100 of these in stock, but they're going very, very quickly. Anybody who, it might not be something that you come in just to buy solely, but if you've bought something else or if you're thinking about getting any of the other patterns or something else on our website, if you've already checked out, it's fine. You can still come in and it's only going to charge you one PMP at the end of today, midnight tonight. Um, all of the orders will be consolidated and you'll only pay one PMP. So it's a great way of just 
stocking up. You know when you're in the queue um, of a, a supermarket or a shop and you they put things by the till and you think, do you know what, actually, I'm going to get that. Might not necessarily have come in for that, but that's really nice and it's a good price as well. It's like one of those little add-on purchases. $3.99, great value. Loads of you checking out on those. Let's stick with William Morris and can we stick with some more gift ideas? Um, these glasses cases are gorgeous and they're so plush. I'll show you the two different prints. We've got Golden Lily and the um, Strawberry Thief, which are gorgeous. I wish that we had that green button activated that you can reach in and touch these. It's something that you haven't yeah, clicked again. They're so soft. It's not, um, oh, I need to explain. Is it slightly velvety? It's so soft. It's really lovely. So let's do the Strawberry Feath one first because this is so popular. And it also comes with your little cleaning cloth. Oh, hang on. Is your dad watching? Happy birthday, Terry, if you're watching. Lots and lots of love. Um, yeah, Paul sending you love as well. Happy birthday, Tessa, he said. Kat said happy birthday, Dad, too. Said I tried to give him his birthday this morning at five o'clock. He said, no, he doesn't want it this early. <laughs> You're going out for a nice lunch, though, aren't you, this afternoon? Ah, oh, a nice late lunch. Oh, beautiful. You haven't had a notification to say it's his birthday? Oh, gosh. Big birthday next year, Terry. Very exciting, very exciting. I, I love this for eleven ninety nine, and it doesn't necessarily need to be for um, for reading glasses or glasses. It could be for sunglasses, couldn't it? They're really nice, and it's a good hard case. The amount of um, sunglasses cases that I've got that are soft covers, and I've ended up squashing them and, and um, like scratching or breaking even a pair of sunglasses. This is a nice hard case, case brilliant for uh, keeping in your car and a nice little microfiber um, cleaning cloth as well. I say microfiber, I don't know if it is microfiber, it's not is it? What's microfiber cleaning cloth? Is it fluffier? But it's, this is the same fabric as this, it's lovely and soft. It's a glasses cleaning cloth. I've not seen William Morris Strawberry Thief in red. Oh there's only three, there's only three left now. Let's move on. And it's lovely plush as well. Sorry, it needs a bit of um, a lint roller, but um, it is really nice and plush in there. I do like that word, plush. Do you know earlier on when I said we had over 100 of the magnets? Half sold out. And it's first time back in stock. First time back in stock. Your William Morris set of four. What about this as a gift for somebody? The, um, the set of bookmarks. And this, I mean, this is eleven ninety nine, and then your your magnets as well. Great value. So that's three pound ninety nine for your four magnets. Now let's do the um, the golden lily. <laughs> and it, I must say, it is a really lovely quality case. If you go to any of your um, local towns, there's well near to where I live, they've got some of these like heritage sort of um, country-esque shopping stores, do you know what I mean? I can't think, of, um, or if you go to a national trust and they have the gift shop, quite often you'll find William Morris bits and bobs, or even in de uh, department stores now, you'll see William Morris. It's not prices like this, Eleven ninety nine is really good value for money, especially with how plush they are, I'm going to use that word again. It's so, so plush, and it's a really lovely, solid, hard case whether it be for a pair of reading glasses or um, long distance glasses or a, a pair of sunglasses even, that's a lovely gift for somebody who loves William Morris. Or treat yourself, it's £11.99 and you do get the cleaning cloth as well. That's really, really good value. Both of those I think are going to sell out, both colourways, whoever gets them, well done. Shall we do the, you call them dinner trays. <laughs> Yeah, I'd eat my dinner off it, definitely. I've got a lap trays because quite often, I've told you a million times, I sew on my dining room table. So sometimes if I'm like, oh, I can't pack my sewing machine away, I want to do dinner, sewing after dinner, I'll end up doing um, a bit of a, having my, my dinner on my lap. But do you know what I think this is great for? If you're doing Alice and Marion's um, EPP kit or any tele sewing, any sociable sewing I call it, then these are absolutely ideal and they're lovely and cushioned. 
even if you if you um I like that it's got a nice big lip as well on it so nothing's gonna roll out nothing's gonna um nothing's gonna disappear what well, one of your trays at home pardon completely taken over because your dad has tried to pardon change all the batteries in your mom's watches how many watches your mom got and she's got them all laid out uh, she's got them all laid out onto um, a, a lap tray there you go so Terry's been doing it in front of the Terry uh, in front of the telly. <laughs> Oh, I do love Strawberry Thief. It's one of my favourite prints. I actually saw it, I was going to tell you, Paul, um, on a, a doormat the other day. And I thought, that's so cool. That's something Paul would have. Really cool. Hello, Lynn. Lynn sent us a message in. These magnetic bookmarks are great for needle holders on your embroidery. Fantastic idea. Fantastic idea. That's brilliant. Thanks for um, sharing that idea with us. Oh, there's loads of you checking out on the um, on the, the the magnets. Paul's joke is they are magnificent. There you go. You got there, Paul. You managed to get that airtime. Twenty seven pounds ninety nine. Beautiful quality William Morris tray cushion. Somebody's going off to university or bought their first home. Um, Kat's saying that her and her boyfriend didn't have um, a, a table, a dining room table in their home for a while. It's nice to have a lap tray. Because it's ever so uncomfortable trying to eat your dinner off your knee, isn't it? When you've got your knife bought, you've got your drink, maybe some sauces or something. You can't just do that on your knee, can you? And it will burn your legs. This is really good. Protect your clothes from splashes. Although, I must say, I wouldn't want to eat my dinner off this because it's too fancy. This is your strawberry thief. Look, he's in the um, he's in the act. He's caught in the act. Twenty seven ninety nine, and we've also got the um, the golden lily. There's your golden lily. It's just up to you. Which is your favourite print? This is really nice. Again, your cushion tray. Twenty seven ninety nine. Any hand sewing? Then this is going to be brilliant to just sit and um. Get yourself a little station all set up, maybe with your your little um, your little roll and press, little pair of snips, your little magnets, maybe your sew line glue pen, and you're just doing your your little sewing bits and bobs. Really handy to have. It's a nice size as well, isn't it? Twenty seven pounds ninety nine, especially as you've got this raised lip around the edge, so nothing's going to be rolling off your tray. But anybody who's after a gift idea for somebody, this sounds perfect, isn't it? Absolutely perfect. For more gift ideas, how about a nice sewing box? So we, I know that Alison was telling, so, sorry, hang on, bear with me. I'm coming back. Um, so I'm back. Um, earlier on, Alison was talking about, and we were, had some messages coming in about how nostalgic um, needle cases can be. I have that with a sewing box. So my mom has heard, a sewing box since I was so little, the same one, which I think is so lovely to be able to, I've got such fond memories of rooting through as a little girl, going through um, all of the different bits and bobs. Love it. This though, this is so cool. To be honest, my mum's, she could do with a new um, sewing box though, to be fair. Or this could be one that's just dedicated to a certain type of sewing. Oh, look at him. Your embroidered sloth. <laughs> And inside, you've got loads of space, so you've obviously got your little handle. I think this would be nice in a living room. If you don't have a designated sewing room and you want to keep everything nice and tidy away, you've got your little pocket and your, um, and your pin cushion. You've got that extra tray here, plus which is a nice um, hard tray. You've then also got loads of storage space in there. So, um, I'm thinking if you're... You wanting a box that's dedicated to English paper piecing or a box that's dedicated to your needle felting. Um, it may be your embroidery or if you're just having like your sew-all box. It could be something that you, you're you separating out your different crafts. But it's got great depth to it as well. You can fit loads in there. Some of your fat quarters, maybe loads of your embroidery skeins. Um, things like your roll and press is going to fit in there. Your, your, your sew line pen, you're going to be able to fit all of your bits and bobs. Any of your refills in one of the smaller bits, some needles, your little magnets, <laughs> beeswax. Nice to buy for somebody, isn't it? 
you can always get a couple of little um, little notions and little bits to fill with it. But it's just so beautiful, especially with this sloth detail. I love sloths. That's exactly what a little pool looks like right now. Down the vision mixer. It looks like a little bit of a, um, yeah, let me just get that loose thread off. There we go. <laughs> He's just having a little kip in his party hat for Terry's birthday. $24.99. It's absolutely beautiful. We've also got another sloth one. The other sloth option, because, yeah, we have a couple of sloth options, as you do, is this one. It's good to have sloth options, isn't it? It's always nice, you know, to have options on different sloths. <laughs> I don't think I would be saying that um, before 10 o'clock this morning. So you've got your little uh, look at him, your hanging sloth and his jumper. Your really lovely little yarns. Look, he's doing his knitting. This could be your knitting one. This could be your knitting box, couldn't it? You've got all of your different... Um, Oh, he looks so cool. Look at him. Inside, once again, you've got plenty of space there to keep your little pins, your pin cushion. You've got an extra, you keep your quick and pick in there. Needle threaders. All sorts. What have we got in here? Little foam bit. That's not included. Where on earth does that come from? That's nothing to do with us, is it? It's got glitter on it. No, that's not included, sorry. £24.99. What is it? Oh, oh, Neil, one of um, Neil's boys made Easter eggs and we did an Easter egg hunt and hid them around the set and one of them was hidden in here. You are like Mrs. Marple Cat, aren't you? Uh, just £24.95, she's great detective. But another lovely storage tray that's um, a nice solid storage tray. That'd be a great gift for somebody and quite often, and I always get this to you, that sometimes it comes to somebody's birthday and you're thinking, right, I have no idea what to get them. And then you're looking around and you're thinking, ah, I don't know what to get. There's nothing that I can find that's specialist to their sort of their craft. And then after their birthday, you see loads of things, don't you? I've, always, I've got to the point now that if I see something for somebody, even if it's six months before their birthday, I'll buy it and I'll keep it in my present drawer. So if you know somebody's birthdays, you know, down the line, this would be absolutely perfect because it's something a bit different. Yeah, you can get different sewing boxes, but can you get them with cool sloths like this? Let's face it. $24.99. And when it comes to it, you'll be thinking, hang on, where was it that I saw that sloth sewing box? Um, I love little sloths. I went to see, uh, I went to last year to London Zoo, they had little baby sloths and they were just the most adorable thing ever. But to go and see them, the queue was huge because everybody, I think they're a bit on trend at the moment, aren't they? What do you mean, have I seen them blink? They blink really slow. No? But also, do you know, that sounds silly, but it's true. You know, when you blink, you blink quite quickly. Sloths blink very slow. There's a fun fact for you about sloths, thank you. Do you know any other good sloth um, facts? Put it on Facebook, message in to us if you know any good sloth facts. We love any sort of good facts. What's, um, what's a, a group of sloths called, I wonder? <laughs> we always ask Siri. Bed? A bed of sloths? Maybe. Is that correct? Please message in. Is it a bed of sloths? I do like collective nouns, do you? <laughs> 24.99, right. Um, where do we go next, Cat? Right, so I wanted to do this yesterday. Um, well, I say I wanted to do this yesterday. Hayley was telling me about this yesterday. So those of you that have followed myself and, and Paul and Kat and Joe and everybody for the last few years, you know what I'm talking about. Um, 
We've obviously only um, been part of Sewing Street since February, but we've all known each other and worked in the sewing community for the last uh, good few years now. Um, and this is something that we've always been asked to see whether we could get hold of. And we've never been able to get it. I don't know why, but they were like gold dust. So many people were saying, right, I can't find them. Would you be able to get it? Because a lady bought one, and I think it was secondhand from a boot sale or something. And that was the, oh, we, we never were able to find them. So we are so excited that we've got these. Now they come in in a box and you just need to put it together. We did it really easily. It comes into different parts. So obviously it packs down nice and compact. But do you know what it is? Obviously, it's an embroidery hoop, but it's, well, it says here, with a seat steady. So you sit on this, you put it under your bum when you're on the sofa or on a chair or on the train or wherever you are. You can sit on this and you're completely hands-free when you're doing your embroidery. So obviously, it's similar to the, the table clamp one. We've done ones where you can clamp it onto your table and you're hands-free. You do not need a table. So you can literally pop that under your bum. I'm, uh, it's really difficult for me to do it here, isn't it? I was going to try and show you on the chair earlier, but um, I mean, it's quite self-explanatory. You're, you're sitting on here, which means that you are then hands-free and you can still completely rotate this round whichever way you want to be able to do any of your hand embroidery. It's when I was talking to, um, I've spoken to loads of people about embroidery, Cara being one, um, one person and she was saying having the right posture is really important and making sure that you're you know you're in the in the correct position and this will really really help you do that if the phone rings if the the door goes or if you want to put it down and come back to it you can simply just put your needle in and you can pass it through both ways very very easily and quickly so it it does make your sewing more efficient i think and and therefore your end results i find really professional $27.99. I've been so excited to show this. And yesterday was just so manic. We wanted to show it yesterday with um, our applique show. Remind me what we had yesterday. Catherine, we had the applique. Oh, that was it. When we were doing our birds, uh, our applique birds. And we were saying this would be great then potentially as well. Um, it's a 24.5 centimetre hoop. Um, and it's £27.99. pence. We do also have the uh, the table clamp one on the website. We have the table clamp one on the website as well, but this is your seat clamp, which is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It's just $27.99. Um, I don't know when this came into stock, but it's the first time I've seen this. And I know that we're quite limited. We've, um, we've done well to get hold of this one, less than £30. Amazing. And it packs down quite nicely, actually, doesn't it? It does um, pack down quite compact. It is ideal if you're sitting on the sofa or, you know, on a if you on an armchair or if you're off onto the train, if you haven't got something to, you know, prop it up against. Brilliant. Only came in on the 7th of August, so this is um, this was only new this month. It's absolutely worthwhile checking out because we've struggled for years to um, to meet your demand of getting these in. Lovely quality as well, really lovely quality. We've had a couple of messages from two different Sues. Hello, Sues. A what? Oh, they're called a snuggle of sloths. I love that. A slug, a, a sluggle, a sluggle, snuggle of sloths. It's hard to say, isn't it? Okay, Fiskars. The ones that we were um, looking at with Alison with a snip, so I can show you those in a second. We've got a scissor sharpener. So, Obviously, when you're cutting through your favourite designer fabric, it's so important that you've got lovely, sharp scissors. I didn't realise when I first started in the craft world how um, protective everybody was over their scissors. I was like, oh my word, I thought you just have a generic pair of scissors. My word was I wrong. And I get it now. You've got to have the right tools for the right job. Now, Fiskars, as you can see, quality since 1649. I... I don't know whether there are many other companies that have lost the test of time, like Fiskars. They are very, 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 very good at what they do. Um, they are a, a household name for all things scissors and cutting. Um, so, easy sharpening for scissors for right-handed people. Um, let's show you. So, as long as your scissors aren't micro serrated, then you can use them um, with them. And they simply go into your, your scissor sharpener like so, and you cut. Oops. 
I might um, just sit here and, and for the rest of the hour just sharpen all of our scissors because it's lovely to be able to have, even with your paper scissors or your fabric scissors, have them nice and sharp. Alison's going to love me when she, um, when she uses these in the next hour. So, absolutely ideal to be able to just have on your desk, give your scissors a sharpen, and you don't need to necessarily just use it for all of your fabric scissors. What about your kitchen knife scissors? What about your kitchen scissors, the ones that um, you cut the bacon with or <laughs> cut your packaging open with? How many times do you try and get into um, to, to cardboard boxes using scissors and they blunt very quickly? This is ideal. So these are our paper scissors. And once again, you can really quickly and easily, without going actually ever, anywhere near the blades, sharpen them. I know a lot of people send their scissors off to be professionally sharpened, so that's really handy to have, isn't it? Um, there are just like little grinding, uh, like a grinding wheel right into the centre of there, but it's completely safe and enclosed. So just give it all a real good sharpen. I wonder whether I can do these with it. Can I do these snips with it? I don't see why not yet. You can either spend $16.99 on a sharpener or $14.99 on a new pair of scissors. You don't need to keep buying new pairs of scissors when you've got your fist scars functional form um, sharpener. 16 pounds and 99 pence. Now, how many did you say we've got of these, Kat? Oh, less than 15 left. Started with loads of these earlier. We've now got less than 15. That's it, not many at all, they'll go. Uh, easy to sharpen scissors, and they are designed for right-handed scissors. Um, I wonder why, oh, I suppose because you've got the one on the one side and the one, yeah, it's where the blades are, so they are designed for right-handed scissors. Fiskars are brilliant though, aren't they? They are brilliant, so you know that you've got that brand. That'd make a nice gift for somebody. Maybe someone you know who's got lots of scissors. In the crafting world, I always ask how many scissors you've got. And I know that I have some people look at me like, oh, don't ask that question, it's a sensitive subject because they've got something stupid like, how many did Debbie tell me she had? I think Debbie told me she had over 50. Yeah, she's got loads. Or oh, maybe I'm exaggerating and got that completely wrong. Did you say five to me just then? Oh, 30. Maybe it's between 30 and 50. Jane Greenough's got loads of scissors as well. But it is something we all need, isn't it? It's something we use every single day. So you want to keep them nice and sharp. Nothing worse than when you're cutting through your fabric with your, uh, your nice designer fabric and you can just feel it almost hacking and, and slashing your fabric. Or if you run classes, um, you know, then it's, it's, it's good to be able to always give somebody a sharp pair of scissors or, you know, yeah, being able to sharpen other people's scissors as well. $16.99. Okay. The little snips that Alison was um, talking about earlier is these. Now, what's great about them is that they've got like a really lovely micro, how do I um, describe it? Like a micro knife edge tip. So it's almost like um, those gemstone lovers out there from our sister channels. You've got this like faceted end, which you can just see about there in the light. And that is um, like your micro edge tip. So if you're doing things like cutting into curves, ooh, it's not your eyes, don't worry, there you go. Um, so if you are um, cutting into curves and you need to make those snips right up to the seam, but without going through the seams, you can get real great precision. They're ever so sharp right to the point, which I know sounds ridiculous, but the amount of little scissors I see and have used that aren't sharp, sharp to the point, um, that's absolutely, uh, it, you need to have a pair of scissors that are sharp to the point. So also to release them, so they've got a lovely soft grip handle. You pull down that little safety catch and then there's, there's, spring, there's spring as well. So it means, I find sometimes that your thumb can rub here um, on a little pair of scissors, or if you struggle with dex, if you've got dexterity issues that you struggle using a pair of scissors, I find that this is a really nice, easy, soft grip to use. So um, then you can just lock them into place like that. Really, really handy. I know that Alison uh, hadn't seen these before and she now absolutely loves them. The first thing that she asked when she came in was, could she use these? Really, really popular today, $14.99. It's extremely busy this morning. So thank you very, very much for your company. How are you all? Come and say hello. What is it you, that you're loving today? Um, what do you want to see 
on the show. Of course, this is the great thing about Sewing Street and we are constantly looking to expand. Um, we only launched the show back in February and uh, thanks to you and lots of people messaging and asking if we can get different things, we've managed to get lots of our different items because of, of your feedback. So if there's something that you're struggling to get hold of, let us know and if we, our buying team can get them in, they will. Email studio at sewingstreet.com or drop a message onto Facebook, um, on the Facebook Live or on our Facebook page, which is Sewing Street TV. Oh yeah, there's the email address as well, studio at sewingstreet.com. Thanks for that, Paul. So, they're your nice little soft grip snips. We've also got these scissors. Now, we had these in as our very first product at Sewing Street. We started the whole shebang talking about these scissors. So we had a meeting with Fiskars. Uh, as I said earlier on, um, yes, we are new. We only launched back in February. But behind the scenes and the team that, you're, that, you, that you see every day have all worked in the industry for years and years. So it, we've got lots of um, industry experts who have made incredible connections. It, for example, Fiskars, it doesn't really get more reputable than Fiskars. We had a meeting with Fiskars, they want, they really wanted to offer us something amazing for our launch, so we got these. Now, a beautiful pair of dressmaking shears or your everyday universal scissors, surely you would be looking, I personally think, about double the price, whereas we've got these at $14.99. Whether you're using these as your paper, we've got a little tab on ours that say these are for paper, or whether you're using them for your fabric. Um, we all need a good pair of scissors. Now what I like about these is that they are really lovely and sharp, they're Fiskars quality, they're a great shear at 24 centimeters but they're nice and lightweight. Um, I, I love looking at these big heavy scissors and whenever anybody comes on with a big pair of dressmaking scissors that just look really weighty, I love looking at them but I actually really struggle cutting with them. I think they look great, but they um, I find them difficult. So if you do prefer, you know, having a real great quality pair of scissors, but with um, a lighter weight finish to them, these are ideal. These are like your universal scissors. Even at this price point, if someone keeps pinching your scissors to cut things in the kitchen, then buy them their own scissors at $14.99. Now you can use your own, you can put your own little lit ribbon on it or something and that's their scissor, uh, scissors for the kitchen or for their workroom or whatever crafts um, other people do. Even just handy for, uh, you know, wrapping paper and things like that, really handy. Oh, now left-handers, I don't want to let you down because I'm a lefty and I know that we always get sort of forgotten about, don't we? So these are your right-handed scissors. Fiskars do do left-handed scissors. Um, you will always identify Fiskars, like Fiskars is quite known for its orange handles, whereas the left-handers are red. So it's exactly the same multi-purpose scissors, $14.99, but this time for left-handers. And um, little fact for you, little fun fact, I thought it was just really the handle that's different. Um, but actually it's not. So if you're looking at a right-handed pair of scissors like this one, the right-hand blade sh uh, opens first. Whereas <laughs> um, when you're looking at a left-handed pair of scissors, it's the left-handed blade that will, sh that will lift first. I'm telling you to shush. <gasps> I haven't got them. Oh, are they in the scissor rack? Of course, that's where we keep our scissors. Right, you're looking at these ones. These are the ones that we're looking at. So these, there you go, I can put it to the test. Yep, yeah, left-handed blade lifts up, whereas on these one, it's the right-handed blade, so it's the opposite, but obviously your handle's different as well. So these are your left-handed scissors, $14.99. Didn't want to let you down. Yeah, they weren't supposed to be in today's show, but I'm a lefty. I don't want any other lefties to feel left behind. £14.99. Let's sit with Fiskars. Um, those of you that have got any of the rotary cutters. Oh, this is a great rotary cutter, actually, because it's um, the pivoting rotary cutter. Um, so, if I turn it like this, that is just like your normal 45 degree blade rotary cutter. It's easy to change your blade. It's got a little handle there which you can easily remove your blade and swap it without actually touching the blade. Your safety catch is here, um, which pulls back like that to expose the blade. And then once you're, you're, you're finished with your cut, 
always make sure that you're putting that safety guard back on. So it's got a really lovely soft grip handle and if you're cutting like this, then of course, just as normal, always remember to cut away from yourself and that is your regular rotary cutter position. The great thing about this one though is it's pivoting. So if I press this button down at the top, now it will only, it will only um, expose the blade it will only let you do this, sorry, once you've locked the blade in place. So I'm going to turn it a full 180 and then that will lock in place and now I can expose the blade if I want to cut again. This I find is a really good way to get through multiple layers of fabric. It means that you're getting more weight on the top of your blade so therefore you're putting less pressure on your wrist. It's all coming more from your, your body weight. So you can then of course do your cutting nice and safely, nice and securely from um, doing it in this position. It looks quite strange doesn't it, a strange contraption but actually it, make, it makes lots of sense because you can really get that pressure over the top of your rotary cutter. It's not done though. There's also another two positions. So if I turn that to the side here, here with the smooth action from your wrist, you can also cut curves from this way. And also if I spin it to there, it locks into place. I can also cut my curves like that. I can put my blade on the other side, yes, so it's left-handed. So if you're a right-hander or a left-hander, you can absolutely use this to answer your question. So yes, you can. $21.99. And it will take a normal um, blade, a normal 45 uh, millimeter blade. We had some great ones on yesterday and I did say stock up whilst we were at the early bird prices yesterday. So hopefully you made the most of those because they will fit absolutely fine in there. And the blade changing tool that comes with the Fiskars combo, you can use, um, no, you can use this too. So, talking of rotary blades, if you want to add a pinking blade, whether it be for decorative or whether it be functional, I love a pinked edge. I do think that they look great. Now, these are your 45 millimeter blades. Now, even though it's Fiskars, I can use this in conjunction with my Alpha, my Millwood, my Clover rotary cutter. Um, as long as it's got the shape in the center, which is quite a universal sort of shape, you'll be fine. Do you know when we had yesterday, um, we had Catherine's apron on and she was saying, look, if you don't have um, an overlocker, yes, you can zigzag or you can simply pink. She says quite often, I do just pink the edges to finish my edges so they're not fraying as much. Um, if you ever buy charm packs or any um, fabrics that are already pre-cut, just to stop it from fraying, you'll often see it has a pinked edge. I like it as decorative though. You know, on little toys clothes, it looks beautiful. Or on bunting, it looks great. And to be able to do it, don't get me wrong, pinking shears are great, but do you ever find that when you're cutting with pinking shears, you get to the end and then when you start that next snip, it might not be as um, perfectly zigzagged as this one. I don't think I've got a... Um, uh, no, we used to, didn't we? We used to have a, a, a pink edge in one, but I think it's been changed again. So I was going to show you what it looks like, but you know what a pink edge looks like. It's a, a little zigzag like this. So to be able to have it in one simple sweep, and you can use it with your rulers as well. If you're having it in one simple sweep, then you're definitely going to be able to get that really lovely, consistent pinked finished edge. $6.99, it's definitely worth stocking up. Uh, and of course, you can change it in and, in and out of your, your one rotary cutter, or you can go onto our, our website and have a look and you'll find lots of really affordable rotary cutters on there if you want to do one that's dedicated to just your pinking. Brilliant. So, that's that's um, Fiskars. I think I've mentioned all the Fiskars things. Um, design, roll, race, quilt, bundle from our John Cole Morgan. You've got three of your panels. Now we've got it in azure. Um, we've also got it in... Um, there's your azure, sunset and berry. And they're really big. Now we've got the bundle today and you're saving £10 saving 10 pounds um all of the colors are absolutely beautiful and all of the patterns as well you can see there uh are lovely aren't they to have that extra geometric sort of detail with a perfect ombre of color so this is your um it is designed for the the it was put together for the the jelly roll race that uh, the design roll race sorry that john Cole morgan did but 
you've got loads of fabric here. It, these are massive, these panels, and I've not seen this for absolutely months. It's great to be able to have these. So you've got one, two, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Is it sixteen? I think I might have uh, missed one out there, but you're getting loads of strips and look at how big the panels are. Bearing in mind your quilting fabric is normally 112 wide, this is 140. So it's loads of fabric. 16 ombre stripes in berry sunset and azure blues for less than £50. That is a lot of fabric. Bearing in mind you can pay £40 for one jelly roll. You're getting loads of design rolls here. And they're exclusive to us. Now you also get what, sorry? Oh yeah, if you've got the, any of the Pam and Nikki Lintop patterns, they often use two and a half inch strips. You may as well, you may as well. You're saving 10 pounds on this one. You may as well make the most of it. The blue, we'll have a look through the uh, Pam and Nikki Lintop book as well in the last hour. Um, so this is, oh, your azure, which is beautiful, isn't it? These are all of individual uh, available on the website, so if there's one of those that you really, really love, um, I think they're £19.99 each, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're £20 each, £19.99, so if you do just want one, but you're saving £10 if you're getting all three, and these are colours I think that you, you're always going to use, aren't you? Anything that you see on the desk, by the way, any of your threads that we don't get a chance to do this hour, we'll bring back later if that's okay, Kat just because um, we really want to talk about those Gutemans. These are brilliant value for money. Okay, and then this is your sunset lollipops and... Oh, 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 that's like an African sunset, isn't it? It's beautiful. Oh, see, we need this today on our grey, dreary day. Please tell me if it's sunny where you are. We need some good news. Is it sunny anywhere today? Come on, look out the window. If it's sunny, message in. Please message in if it's sunny where you are. We need some good news. We need to know where we can come over to. Oh, it's so cold. We what, sorry? Where are we? Are we still in summer? In summer. No, we're in autumn now. We're officially in autumn. I do love autumn, but um, yeah, we're done. Summer's done. When did we when did we leave summer? Oh, hang on. Is it officially autumn, cat, or are you making that up? She's just making it up. Sorry, fake news. More of cat's fake stories later. Sorry, everybody's going into panic mode now. No, summer is not over. So, all of your panels uh, with a saving of £10 a day, £49.97. Okay, so they're your three um, panels, but I say you, you can actually absolutely get those individually if you want on the website. Uh, oh, 22nd of September is autumn, don't panic, we've still got lots of time. Guterman. Ooh, right, I'm going to quickly mention these now, but I will um, probably talk about these again later. 48! This, is, this hasn't been opened, Kat. Do I? Let's do it. Right, 48 of your amazing Gutemann threads. This works out ridiculously good value for money. We've done some of the smaller nostalgic packs and I love them. They're like old sort of postcards and advertising campaigns for Gutemann. So this is your 1895 and oh my word, look at these colours. 59.99, what an awesome gift for somebody. So many colours. You've also got all of the reds, the blues, the greens, all of your greys for your EPP. Oh, isn't that amazing? Right, what's our price per spool? Because you get 100 metres on each spool. They're beautiful quality Gutemann polyester threads. These are your sew-all threads as well. So they're your 50 weight, which means you can use them in your sewing machine. You can use them in your bobbin. You can use them for hand sewing. You can use them for applique. You can use them for dressmaking. You can use them for um, applique, for quilting. You can use them for virtually anything you want. These are your universal sew-all threads. And... It's just over 120. 120 a spool. 100, uh, sorry, £1.24 a spool. 
which is spoiling you. And that's with, by the way, the most beautiful tin as well. You're getting that for free. How lovely. Even if this is the only thing that you buy today, if we include your postage and packaging, um, you're at £1.33 a spool. Not taking the tin in, into consideration. Now, normally, I swear, I see Guterman, um, even here, Guterman spools between sort of £1.17 and £2. Um, these are your absolute sew-all threads. And it's a great that you've got a huge array of colours. This is going to go on and on and on and on and on and on and on, isn't it? You're going to be able to use this for so many different projects. And these are the threads that you, you really do need. It is an essential. When we're thinking about all of our lovely fabrics that we're using, think about holding them together, piecing them together. Um, we have to start, depending on what sort of level of your sewing journey you're on, but I know that one of, was it Debbie's top tips? One of her first tips were, use a good quality thread. This is Guterman, it, it speaks for itself, which is a really reputable brand in, in the thread world. Just for £59.99, um, I will remind you of the stock levels later on. Okay. The, I haven't got time to show them just now. I will bring them back later, but I just want to give you a heads up as loads of people have spotted them on the website. I had them, I launched them with Sally Ann Harrison. They're back in stock. The 28th of July was when we um, launched these. The small one is back in stock. So this is your nine inch seam guide. So if you were to put this onto your fabric and draw down the center, you're getting your quarter of an inch either side. So if you're doing half square triangles, this is brilliant. If you just want to have a quick gauge of your, um, uh, of your quarter of an inch then that is fabulous um so you've got your um smaller one which is your nine inch and then you've also got it's got your non-slip grip all on the back as well and it's got a, a pointed edge the one side so you can put that right into the diagonal corner of any of your square draw your lines down and then you know where, how you know to cut um your quarter of an inch seam perfectly They've already been really, really popular today. They sold out on the launch. If you want to see them used um, with Sally Ann's demo, it was back uh, at 10 a.m. on the 28th of July. So you can watch that back on YouTube, 28th of July at 10 o'clock. Brilliant. Um, oh no, we can't all get to Australia, can we? It's 29 degrees in Queensland. Oh. Catherine. That it's, it's glorious and sunny in central France. Oh, I've literally got goosebumps in here. Ah, oh, did you miss it? Terry, you missed your happy birthday shout out. Happy birthday. Oh, Paul said you can't have another one. Um, Paul said happy birthday. All of us, from all of us, happy birthday. Hope you have a lovely day. I know Kat's going to treat you to a lovely lunch. To a lovely, lovely lunch. She's saying she's paying for you all. Paying for you all. I thought that's really generous, isn't it? That's so lovely that Kat's offered to pay for you all. And that's a posh place, isn't it? The cock at Wishaw. That's bottomless champagne as well, Kat. Oh, bottomless champagne, three courses. Isn't she a lovely daughter, Terry? Thank you, Kat. Right, um, coming up in the next hour, we're going to get Alison back on. We've got some of her best selling kits back and sneaky sneaky price on these if you spotted it on the website so we've got our applique cushions we've also got the aprons back in stock and eau de coat back in stock as well so stay where you are Alison's going to be joining me in just a few minutes Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw and as a professional sewer, I really know how important it is to use a high quality thread. Well, you think about it. You spend a lot of money on your sewing machine, you'll spend a lot of money on fabric and you'll spend a lot of time sewing. So why let your thread let you down? I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business, it was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike and they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only use the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. 
each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects. Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Orofil and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with Quilters and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colours that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer and your seams to be stronger, invest in some quality thread. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seams stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Right, so Alison um, has been really eagerly awaiting in the wings. She says, I've been watching you on Facebook for the last hour, which is brilliant. She says, I've just, um, who was it that's bought your, uh, the, the magnets? Your mum. Yeah. Mum's bought the, uh, the magnets, the William Murray's magnets, which have actually now sold out. I think we have nearly 200 of those and they've completely sold out. So lovely to have so many of you watching us today. And big love as well to Alison's mum who's watching. Um, now, we've got two beautiful kits which um, have been some of Alison's most popular shadow applique cushions. They are so beautiful and honestly when you get them home they look even better when you made them up and you see them in the flesh. They look so beautiful. The effect of shadow applique is brilliant. It really really is. Now um, we've got two different kits. So we've got the Daisy Duo and we've got Hello Blossom, which is Hello Blossom and Daisy Duo. So I just wanted to show you them both before we introduced the kit so you can make up your mind which one you want or whether you want them both. Which 
Because of what we've done today, I've got a feeling a lot of people are going to maybe take the plunge and take advantage of the deal, maybe buy both. So let's do the, should we do the Daisy Duo first? Daisy Duo first. Um, so you get everything that you need in the kit, including, let me show you exactly what you're getting for $19.99. Now, those of you that um, have seen this before, the price point was brilliant anyway. And yet, I do not know how, but when we've loaded the graphics in this morning, it says it's less than £20, which I'm sure it wasn't under £20 before. And we found out, yeah, it wasn't over 20 It was. It was over 20 Today, it's $19.99. Don't ask how, don't ask why. We're not questioning it either. And you're going to reap the benefits. So absolutely make the most of it. I don't know whether that is going to be something that we're able to do again. So I take advantage of it today. So how exciting you're getting a discount as well. Now, you're getting everything that you need. Um, and of course, if you watch the last hour, Alison's a brilliant teacher as well. So your instructions, you're in safe hands. You've got everything that you need to make the cushion, including, let me um, turn it over so you can see, you get your organza, which can you see the difference when you put it over the fabric, how it gives it that lovely shadow effect. It's so sparkly and beautiful. So you have your organza, you have your lovely fabrics, which are absolutely gorgeous. This rose is gorgeous. Same as the, the rose in the last hour, actually, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So if you wanted to make matching, um, mas matching cushion to go with, you've got all of your cream. You've also then got your white, which for your inner. You also have then your webbing, um, which we'll talk about, um, we will talk about later on with Alison. Plus, you also get your wadding. So everything that you need, including your exclusive Sewing Street instructions, uh, which are written by Alison. So they're ever so clear with great, uh, with uh, really lovely clear uh, images as well, photographs. Plus, you're getting your tracing, cutting and layout plan. Um, now we had this back in May and it was one of the most popular uh, most popular projects of the whole of May so I'm really excited to have it back especially at this new discounted price. Uh, in fact you weren't here to demo it were you? You sent in a video from home so it's amazing to be able to have Alison live here so you've got any questions for Alison this is the perfect time now we've got a live and interactive you can send in any messages and any questions that you might have to her here so that's your daisy duo we've also got the hello blossom What's that song I'm thinking? You're looking swell blossom I'm thinking of hello dolly aren't I? Oops right You've heard that song, Paul? No, dearie me. Right, I probably didn't do it great justice, to be honest. Let me shimmy it over this side. He hasn't got a guitar solo in it, then Paul saying it's, uh, he, he doesn't know it. Right, inside here, once again, the, the same prints you might recognise from that last hour, which are beautiful. So you're getting your lovely floral, your lime green, your yellow, your organza, all of your whites, everything that you need, your, um, your webbing, your wadding, everything all included, plus your instructions for under £20. Extremely good value for money. I know our producer, Hannah, absolutely adores this kit. I know she adores it because when we did a Hannah's pick show, um, she picked this one out as one of her picks. It's so lovely. Uh, we were saying I think this would look lovely in a bedroom. It's a proper boudoir cushion, isn't it? It's one that you would have on a, a statement chair or on a bed or something. Um, oh, Kat's thinking in the conservatory because it will catch the light beautifully through the conservatory windows on, on a sunny day. Maybe in the mid-France, somebody said it's really, really hot, and in Australia, but yeah, these would be beautiful, beautiful in the conservatory, actually. Brighten up a room a bit. Just £19.99, and pence, and that one's your Hello Blossom. Right, also, just wanted to very quickly mention, just before we get started, because I know I'll get carried away and forget to mention, that the cross-back aprons, first time I've seen it, and this is for adults or children. You've got the options of both. It just says you will need, obviously, different amount of fabric, etc. if you're doing it for an adult, if you're doing it for kiddies. So, everything that you need here for mummy and me, your crossback apron pattern is there, sizes 10 to 20. I like the, um, 
the little um, the little plug as well we got there, look. Check out the YouTube demonstration on Sewing Street, 4th of July. We're not going to be demoing it today, so absolutely look back on that. But we will talk through, um, and we've got older coat back in stock, so we're going to be talking through a bit of the apron uh, later on. But maybe send any pictures, have you made it? Let us know, studio at sewingstreet.com if you've got any photographs, because it's really lovely, quick, easy make. If you are just getting into dressmaking, maybe, these are really lovely, lovely aprons to do. Few of the kits available from the last hour still. If you want to look back or, um, on, the, on the website, then they're all now underneath us on the web, so you can see them there. Right, is there anything else that I need to mention before we get Alison on? Fantastic, so those of you that want to check out of your baskets, here's a quick reminder of how you do it. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the Watch Live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Alison, welcome back. I feel like I can't see you. All these <laughs> yeah. big poofy cushions, actually, aren't they? <laughs> They're lovely. Um, you've just been watching on Facebook, haven't you? I have, yes. In my break, I've been watching and my mum's ordered stuff. And yeah. It's and actually, a lady on the Facebook page has said that her granddaughter has got a six inch teddy and she used the pattern off of my drawing on the front of her pattern to make a penny for the granddaughter's teddy. How oh, wonderful is that? That's amazing. Sorry, I can't remember your name. How good is that? <laughs> oh, I love, I love the community on yeah. the Facebook page. And especially now that we're streaming live. It's yeah. brilliant. You just watch us on the go, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because I sat and watched you. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So, you know, the, uh, the, the, were these a shadow applique, which I'd never been familiar with before. Tell us a bit about shadow applique and where the design sort of came from. Well, it, it's just... It's such a lovely, lovely technique because you, it softens all the edges. You know, you got, um, if you do a normal applique, it's quite bold and in your face, but when you put on the organza, it softens it. So, oh, it, and mm. you get like the shine, but it's not organza. If I just get a piece here, it's not the organza you get for craft and things like that. You know, that's quite scratchy and the stuff that they sell for like, backs of chairs for weddings mm -hmm. and things like that. It's lovely and soft. It's called snow organza. Oh, so lovely. it is really nice and soft. Oh, you can so feel So it's that. nice to yeah. work with. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, they last, I mean, you said that you made one of these cushions. I've got one on my bed that I made about 15 years ago, oh. yeah. Brilliant. Still same colour bedroom. I think I need to decorate, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, you can see the difference if... Um, if you see that with the organza on and then with mm. it off. It looks really fancy. Is this something, do you think, a beginner could pick up and, and have Easily, a go? yes, because there's no, it's not like needle turn applique or right. anything like that. You don't have to finish the edges because all you do is you bond your pick pattern to the um, fabric mm -hmm. and then layer up. You've got your layer of organza. You've got your main cushion fabric with your applique on. Then you've got your wadding and then in the kit there's also some cotton voile and this really you do you have to use it i don't suppose you have to use it but it makes it more comfortable because when you're hand stitching if you're hand stitching it's it's nicer to have that against your skin oh. rather than the wadding so that's attention to detail just putting that into the kit yeah like it just makes it more comfortable if you're hand sewing yeah um i prefer the hand sewing because if we get this one in you can see that you actually get the pattern like where the stitches go in and out of the fabric. It's quite bubbly. Oh, lovely. It's quite, you know, a nice soft, a soft look. 
Whereas you can, I'll put them on back. You can machine it, and I've got a sample here of it machined. It gives a, a much cleaner line. Oh yeah, yeah. But a you, different you, look. Yeah, you don't get it. It doesn't look so bouncy. Right. Okay. It looks flatter. Okay. So you, if you don't like hand sewing, you can easily do that. So good to have options, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. And the two kits, they you do everything the same apart from the Daisy Duo, your main fabric. You get your two pieces to sew together for your shadow mm -hmm. um, when you're doing your applique. So your your applique that's done in the pattern will go on the plane and the, the plane will go on to the pattern. So that's the only thing that's different between the two kits. Right, okay. There's less than 15 of those, by the way, the Daisy Duo, now less than 15. <laughs> so in the instructions, you get all of your templates to yeah. trace out, don't you? Yeah, and this is called um, Fuser Web. So it's, you, that's included in the kit? Oh yes, you get your piece of Fuser Web, yeah. And it's slightly different to Bonder Web. You can use Bonder Web if you wanted to make another one. You could make use Bonder Web. This Fuser Web has got like a honeycomb yeah. texture on the back. So it's really easy for beginners to know which is the right side. So you trace from your pattern, you trace all your pieces from your pattern here. So you need the four flowers with the centres and all your leaves and your stems. Mm -hmm. Trace them onto your um, piece of fuser web and also onto your um, fuser web for the Daisy Duo. Now, I some people would cut out all of those and then put the whole lot on, but I tend to cut out individual pieces because, okay. you know, some sewers are quite frugal, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if I, uh, where is it? It's under here. I tend to cut around my piece of fabric so that I'm not wasting fabric with fuser web or bonder oh, web on it. Good idea. So we've got that there. I've already cut that one out. So it, for anybody that hasn't used any of the bonder webs or fuser webs before, you've got your sticky side. Which is, like you say, with the fuser web, it's really easy, easy to identify. Because it's got like that honeycomb feel to it. And then you've got your paper side. So you trace through the pattern. It's nice and easy to trace through. Because it's nice and bold, mm -hmm. it traces through nicely. Oh, that's good. So you don't need a light box or no. worry about putting it up against the window. Yeah. So if we put that on there, I did put the iron on. Now, do you need a pressing cloth or anything? It should be absolutely fine. No, it'll be fine, yeah. Normally about 10, between 5 and 10 seconds is enough. That's I've already and you're doing done that on the ones. wrong side of yep. your fabric. Okay. Yeah, so that's the wrong side. And then we cut out the outside edges. Have we got? I've put the scissors away. Oh, sorry, I think it was us. <laughs> Have we put oh, them away? Oh, there's a pair there. Is that, are they all right for fabric? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, use whichever ones you want. I don't know where we've put our little fist guards ones now. I think they're back on the trolley, sorry. So if you can, to get a nice line, you want to try and go round in one sweep and that way you won't get a jagged edge. Although having said that, because you're putting the organza on there, you don't have to worry too much. I do love a plique. It's one of my favourites. You can, it's so versatile. You can always like make your own new fabric from it. Yeah. Have you seen the pocket that I've put the pattern no. in, in the apron? Ah. Oh. A baking oh, applique brilliant. pattern comes included oh, on the pattern. Oh, does it? Yeah. Amazing. Oh, these are selling really, really quickly, by the way. Um, oh, yeah, you've got your little eggs. Yeah. That's brilliant. So it looks like the eggs are going into the into bowl. The bowl yeah. Yeah, the yeah, the pocket is pocket. the bowl, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. This is the brilliant thing. Like Somebody said earlier on, can I add a pocket for this? You could yeah. add applique bits. You can add whatever you want to it. Buttons would be lovely. Um, the basic apron pattern is fourteen ninety nine. And so have you got the... Is this the... Um, the, the children's pattern and the adult yes. pattern in there. Yeah, it's all included Gosh, on the one value. sheet. Yeah. And you just trace off the sizes that you want because obviously um, you wouldn't cut the pattern so it's on quite heavyweight paper. I like that you've put it all in a bag as well because you know when you cut out all your pieces and you've got your bits and bobs, yeah. it's nice to put yeah. it into a bag as like a little project bag then, isn't it? 
Or if you're making right. it again, you've got all of your pattern pieces all cut there, ready to go to do it again. Brilliant. Okay, so we don't need our other layers at the minute. We're just going to use our our cotton base. So all of our webbing so is So I've, alre I've already put that on. Yeah. So now all I've got to do is just scrape away the back and take off the paper. Yeah, I find this so satisfying. You only get like lovely, PVA yeah. glue on your hands and you yes. peel it off. It's like that, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> It's a bit like that with the odour coat, isn't it? So you can feel that glue is now adhered on the back, can't you? Yeah. It's, it's got like a shiny sort of reverse. Yeah, now. and what I did on this one, it's not so important with the Daisy Duo because you've already got your fabric divided. But with this one, I pressed it. I don't know whether the camera will pick, up, pick that up or you can see on that across there, look. I've pressed mm -hmm. it so that I know that my flowers are actually on the point in the right place. Oh, good idea. So that one... There, and then we've got the center, and you can layer up. It doesn't matter. You don't have to cut the center out of the flower to put the the yellow on top. Yeah, that's the great thing about applique, isn't it? It's just yeah. building up. And then I've got a couple more leaves there. I know we're automatically doing this because we're in the studio, but it's handy to lay this out on your ironing board or on your pressing mat, isn't it, at yes. home? So you're yeah, then so not... you don't have to carry it around with you. Because obviously if you're moving it around, you're going to lose bits. And I do keep my ironing board away from my sewing machine because it's very easy to sit there and, and not move. I've purposely not, I know some people have all their stations set up so <laughs> that they can just move around. I've purposely not done that because if I did that, I wouldn't move, move. for the day. <laughs> oh, who is it? Sally Stevens. I know she's got one of these watches that's got her steps in. Yeah. So she puts what, a, a pressing downstairs to get her Go to do Go up and down the steps. stairs, yeah. I live in a bungalow, so I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just pressing that down. And that will hold it in place. The heat melts the glue and then that adheres to the, to the fabric. And there we are. I'll turn the iron off so it's not. Thank you. There we go. I'll do away with this. So now we'll layer it back up again. So we've got our cotton foil. And as I said, that's just really to protect your hands because you can just um, quilt through the wadding if you wanted to, but it's much nicer to have that there. So we've noticed as well, you haven't got your sewing machine. You can actually do, like you said at the start, all of it can you do, majority of it by hand, or you need oh, yes. your sewing machine to... Well, I mean, when you're assembling it um, in the pattern, it's the um, open back, on the cushion. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean that would be quicker, but there's no reason on a machine. There's no reason why you can't do it yeah. by hand. Um, I had some curved safety pins here. These are handy. I know a lot of quilters use these. Um, or you can tack it down. But these curved safety pins, because you're going to now keep all the layers together. Do you do quilting as well, Alison? Yeah. Yeah. What's do your every, everything really? <laughs> what's your um, way of basting? Do you use these clips then for basting big quilts? Or... Yes. Yeah. 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 I like the the pins. It keeps them flat as well because they're like the yeah. banana shape. Yeah. Curved pins. Yes, it doesn't lift the base of your. If you yeah. if that was a normal safety pin, that would lift it out of shape. Right. As I said, you can tack it down if you wanted to, but all you're doing now is just holding all the layers together. Could I use like a 505 spray? Um, I don't think so. I, I, I don't think you would organza. want that on the back of the organza. Right. Um, That's what I was thinking. Not, not that it wouldn't hold. I don't know if it would catch the dust. Yeah. Do you know? I, right. I know because it's... it's removable isn't it it's, yeah you can it's replace temporary. things yeah oh but then it'd come out when you washed it hmm. so and it does wash they wash nicely oh do they yes. oh that's good to know yeah. as well i mean i've only i haven't put them in a the machine i've only hand washed mine but um perhaps i should put mine in the machine and have a try and let <laughs> <everyone> know. <laughs> so i'll just put one in the center there i would do a few more if i was at home but 
there we go so that's all nice and flat and all you're going to do now is just to sew around the outside just so that you get that lovely raised oh yeah effect yeah I do love that now as we mentioned earlier I do love my silk thread mm -hmm. but, but there isn't any in stock at the moment they did get some in but it all went <laughs> and I can understand why because the price was good as well very good right and I didn't get any we're hoping to get silly, some more, wasn't it? aren't we? Yes, yeah, yeah. Haley's put it on order. So this one I've actually done with a coloured thread. And you can see around on the back where I've done the colour. But on the front, you can't really, can no, you? No, no, it just blends in. Yeah. It really just disappears into yeah. the fabrics, doesn't it? So that was done with a single strand of, uh, sorry, a double strand of an embroidery thread so um i mean they've got some lovely colors on the website oh there's loads yeah. so we've got the tart pink that that alison's just shown to you one pound 49 but they're a huge array if you just yeah. type in the word skein they've got all of the colors yeah. in there yeah and and you can see that this is where the pebbles come in as well because i've already got all my threads in my needles and i just keep them in the in the packet oh, that's good and they don't get all tangled that's good no, isn't you it can just pull them out so your John James needles are really great quality as well. These are your embroidery needles, but like you say, it's nice to be able to have them in a little yeah. pack. I mean, I use these needles because I did bring to show you, I've got my quilting needles somewhere. And although they're nice for quilting small, thin layers, there's an, with all the best will in the world, I don't want to go all the way around with a little needle like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, they are. Small. Yeah, so using an embroidery needle, you find yeah. a lot easier. These are yeah. embroidery, aren't they? Yeah, these are your yeah. embroidery needles. Yeah. So I'm going to bring that up from the from the back, and as I said before, when you're doing a running stitch, I've got a knot on because that doesn't matter. You're not going you're to not see going this; to see it's it. going to be inside. So I'm going to fold over and hold the flower and just do a few running stitches and then every what should I say every three or four I'll take one longer stitch so if I do that now and I'll go go out further and then go back do a back stitch and then a few more Running stitches. And then go out further and just do a back stitch. And I'll, I also, when I come to any corners, I also do a back stitch there. So when I, when I was going round the, round the leaves, mm -hmm. When you go round the leaves and you get to this point here, you do a back stitch there and then you go up around and make sure you do a back stitch on here. And then that just keeps the tension of your threads nice. Ah, so that you know you don't you don't pull it too tight and then it gets all bunched up. Oh, you can see that organza there, can't you? How beautiful it is. It does give you a lovely shimmer. Yeah. It just softens everything. It's really lovely. Mm. It it finishes it off. And then, as I said, I I personally do like the the hand finished look but then I like a lot of hand finishing yeah. on stuff but for somebody who did want to go on the machine do you just do it as you would normally applique at this point or would you put your organza on first and then do all your sewing on your machine as normal yeah you would just do it as yeah. I as I'm doing this and instead of hand doing it you would then go around with your sewing machine so it's exactly the same you fuse your stuff onto your actual hmm. cushion layer up your organza, your wadding and your voile and then just sew around the outside. I should have done one of them, shouldn't I, by machine for you to see the difference because I don't know whether the difference actually shows up on oh, camera. I think it does. Because I think it's quite you flat. See, yeah. It's not, it's not um, floofy, is that a word? <laughs> we'll keep, we'll get that in my dictionary. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, uh, it's quite flat. It's a very different feel. Mm -hmm. Still lovely, isn't it? It's mm. still you can still see that organza. Yeah, finish. because not everybody likes hand finishing. They yeah. don't like hand sewing. So, I mean, you can sit in front of the TV and do this, can't you? No problem. Absolutely. 
So, and then we'll do another back stitch. So then I haven't, I haven't brought everything in to make up the whole cushion mm -hmm. because that is on the video that I did at home. Um, so once you've done all that, you'll trim up your cushion to, I think it's a 45 inch square. It's in the instructions. Um, yeah, it's mm -hmm. all in the instructions. And then you put your two layers together for the back. So it'll be right side to right side and you put overlap your edges and I've allowed a good overlap there. I don't like to see my, my cushion no, in a Yeah, they can, out. Yeah, they can like sometimes, to sometimes to separate it. too yeah. much, can't they? So there's a, there's a good uh, fold there. So you put right sides to right sides all the way around the outside and then trim your corners and just pull through your centre and that's your cushion. It is really, really simple. Absolutely, it's gorgeous and I'm so pleased. It wasn't this price, was it? No, it wasn't. It was quite a bit more. <laughs> Absolutely, make the most of that. I've no idea how we managed to get that deal, but take advantage of it because even Alison didn't know we were doing that this morning. I said, mm. how have we got this at this price, Alison, this morning? And you're like, I have nothing no to do with it. <laughs> nothing to do with me. Something that you can do if you wanted to, when you're putting your two right sides together, if you wanted to pipe it, this is only a piece of flat bias binding, but um, it looks quite effective if you want to put yeah. it around the outside, if you've got a bit of binding and you want to pick out one of the colours. Absolutely. So that's not difficult to do either because it hasn't got the piping cord in it. If you use piping cord, you have to use your zipper foot to get up nice and close. Yeah. Yeah. But with this, it, this is just a piece of folded bias binding. Oh yeah. And it gives a nice little pop of colour around the outside edge if you wanted to do that. Absolutely. That's a really lovely idea. We've got lots of bias binding or you can obviously just make your own from your yeah. from your stash, yeah. can't you? Uh, amazing. So that's the Hello Blossom kit, by the way, 1999. And the other one, this one that's next to one. me, is the Daisy Duo, which is again at the discounted price of £19.99, pence, which is quite considerably lower than where it was before. I have no idea whether that is a mistake or we're rolling with it anyway, so you can take advantage at that price. Brilliant. So, um, do we want to move on from this project then and have a look at the Ode Yes, I love that stuff. Fabulous. <laughs> but what day, remind us when it was, Kat, when um, Alison sent in the video uh, with the shadow applique. We'll, we'll try and find it. I think that it was, was quite early. It was, wasn't yes, it? Yeah. It was quite a while ago. I think um, it was right at the start of the lockdown. Yeah, I think it was in March, just after lockdown started. We'll find out yeah. the date. Yeah. Um, so, when we're there. talking about your, your lovely uh, crossback aprons, a lot of people were saying about um, odour coating them, which is a great idea because it makes it water resistant, doesn't it? So yeah. if you are using it in the kitchen or for stuff. any of your arts and crafts, I love odour coat. I must say it's fab for placemats, tablecloths, for um, things like uh, bags, makeup bags, toiletry bags, for linings of things, for all sorts. So it's literally just come back into stock and uh, we've got it for $14.99. It's almost like a bit of a PVA sort of glue consistency, but it dries completely clear. Do you, you would suggest putting something down on your surface. I've just bought a bit of plastic with me. Yeah. <laughs> because, yes. Um, when you start, it's debatable in which order you do this. With this one, the um, little apron that I did as a sample. That's great. I'd already isn't it? cut it out because I wasn't 100% sure whether the odor coat was going to arrive before the show. So I'd already cut this out. And when you're putting it on, you're spreading. I believe I haven't tried it with a brush, but I should imagine with a brush it goes on quite thick. Right. So I this has got um, three coats, mm -hmm. very thin coats. Um, and I found that because I did those three coats, when I got to the edge, I mean, it doesn't matter because it's being bound, but when I got to the edge, it started to fray a little. Mm -hmm. So I think I personally would do, probably draw out my pattern and then um, do the odor coat on the fabric, but go further than the pattern in case the fabric shrinks, because obviously right. it's a liquid to start off so with. So you can still sew through it. Oh, yes, yeah. I mean, this one, I've put the bias binding on. Um, this one, I odor coated the bias binding. 
But obviously, once you've sewn it, that then puts a needle point through it. Right, yeah. So if you want it totally waterproof, including the binding, you would then do it again, which is what I'm just going to do on this pocket. So if you keep layering up and layering up, if you do multiple layers of it, does it make it waterproof or is it still like um, water resistant? I think it's waterproof. Ah, yeah. Where did, where did we have? We had some. Do you, do you have one that's open? Have you got one that's. This is what. Uh, I'll put that down because let's just hold this up here. And a good example if I spray, spray this. And it's falling off. Ah, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's not being absorbed into the fabric no. at all. And it hasn't changed the colour of the fabric either, has it? It no. hasn't altered like, the no. quality of the fabric. But it's great, That's isn't it? That's why I bought you the can, You can wipe plastic. it. Yeah, so you just wipe it off. I mean, for children, for messy play and yeah. stuff like that, it's brilliant, isn't and it? And you don't have to faff around, especially with the crossback pattern, with tying the bag and no. it being the right size. It's yeah. literally just straight yeah, over arms. I think this would be brilliant, you know, heads. if you're going out to a restaurant or something, you've got yeah. little children, yeah. just to put on really quickly and easily with no hassle. Yeah, so this one, this has got the, um, I've taken it off the here actually, it's got the bias binding on. The that. bias binding hasn't been odor coated. Okay. So that would have to be done. I mean, because look, you can see that that's wet there. So I thought I'd have a go and do this again because the more layers you put on, the shinier it gets. Yeah. So if you want a shiny finish, you put on thicker layers. Okay. But... Do you need to leave it to dry between layers? Yes, you do. Okay. And <laughs> don't put it on cling film and try and hurry it up with a hairdryer. Okay. Because the cling film Did you try melts. that? You <laughs> yes, tried it. I did. <laughs> I thought, oh, I'll have a go. But then it's... It's good to it's a lesson, wasn't it? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you learn by your mistakes. So, I mean, the, the tub itself, it's a big tub. You're going to be able oh, to get goes, loads of girls. Yeah, I mean, doing this only took a minuscule amount out because you put it on and then you spread it so thinly and the first coat absorbs in mm -hmm. and then the second coat and the third coat, they're just layering over the top. So I would say that when you put your first layer on, you actually keep going over to it don't do it of an evening and then go to bed and come up in the morning because it it does stick to your surface a little right. um so keep going over every hour half hour or so and just keep lifting it away from the surface you're doing it on i did it on baking parchment okay and that was fine yeah but i did keep go going over and lifting Freezer it up paper anything like that Anything yeah. with a waterproof layer, really, yes. yes. Amazing. Yeah. Do you need this one, or have you got your own? I haven't brought mine, no. Yeah, absolutely, you so, can pitch that one. Okay. So and There was one open, because I did bring it back, so it's right. Right, okay, so basically, have we got that card there? Yeah. Can I use that card? <laughs> so, I, I, I'm not sure whether yours will come with a card or not, because I've never seen them with cards before, but this one's appeared with a card. Yeah, this one so might be just So a card guaranteed the... it will come with a card, but I suppose you could use, like, an old loyalty card or one of those points cards or an old credit well, card. I You've got a stress to, card, I, I, I said to my husband, I need a card to do the Odeco, an old card. And he said, here, yeah, look, here's one. Go on, and test your stress levels now. Oh, do you reckon? <laughs> Let's have a go. Have you seen these before? Executive stress card. <laughs> so <laughs> it was black this morning I know after that was. drive in the rain. <laughs> oh no. I'm really hoping it's going, going green. It's like a mood ring. Oh, it's going green. Oh, I'm we calm. have a calming influence on you. <laughs> We've got a calming influence. Yeah, That's good so to know. I don't need to use that, but <laughs> that was there just in case there wasn't anything else. So you're going to take off, and it's not messy to use either. You know, you don't have to cover yourself in uh, loads of aprons and things so and that's all you do as I said your first layer does absorb a little into the fabric I I went to um, Comic Cons once with Becky oh brilliant and did you dress up well I, I only made myself a dress in in superhero fabric you know but yeah. I did shoes to match oh. Brilliant. And I used some, um, I can't remember what the name is, it wasn't Eau de Coat. I'm going to try Eau de Coat because they looked patent, but they didn't, didn't move. Right. I was kind of plodding around because the shoes wouldn't move. But with this, you can <laughs> it's see still that it, it's still supple. Oh, that's yeah. good. 
And you can wash it in the washing machine at 30 degrees. So, so if you wash it in the washing machine, it will still stay then wash it yeah. when it dries. Brilliant. Yeah. See, these are, I think these are brilliant for even, you know, play quilts and yeah. things like that. If yeah. you're doing um, toiletry bags or makeup bags. Well, and any picnic blankets if you want to put it on the underside. So oh, that, you know, idea. if you put it down on damp surface. So that's basically it. Now that, the binding around the outside didn't have any on, so that's taken the first coat now, but that will have filled in all the holes where I've actually stitched it. Mm -hmm. So, but this one's already had extra on, so this one might go quite shiny. How many layers would you recommend putting on to make it? That one's fully... got three. Three. Yeah. Um, I would say two plus. You know, two would probably be all right if you don't want it to be totally waterproof. I can't really comment though, can I? Because I haven't done two, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But three but layers But you can is, see how, great. I mean, I've still got, let's do it like that, look. There's still loads. I've put it on and then, and then taken it off again. So you're just spreading it around. Did you watch Neil the other day, Alison? Did you see him on? I watched on. him on Saturday. Yeah, on Saturday. Did yeah. you see him with the odour coat wanting to put it in his hair? As hair oh, gel? No, I didn't see that bit. I Big no, no, don't use it as hair gel. <laughs> I'd love to see. I can't believe you stopped him though. We would have all loved. Oh, he to was have seen stopped. Him. He was stopped. Yeah, he wasn't stopped cutting the cutting mat. No, though, exactly. Was he? Well, Paul was like, "Well, I was very professional and I was keeping my presenter in line," <laughs> and I said, "No, you weren't." Right there, we go. So that's your coat, and that should take about twenty minutes in a fairly, fairly warm room. Amazing. So my again, first one took longer because it was obviously it soaked into the fabric and so you would do that before like you say cutting out uh, you would actually I personally would do it on the fabric and then cut the fabric because you don't know whether the fabric's going to shrink right I'm with you because you're putting a liquid on it um I don't think polycottons and things like that would shrink but possibly a cotton may mm -hmm. um yeah, I just think it's worth doing it like that. I mean, as I said, you can draw around your pattern so that you know you're covering the right area, but extend out a little bit just in case it shrinks and then you can draw your pattern around it again. Amazing. In yeah. fact, um, is there anything else of the odour coat that you want to show? I was going to say, would you mind talking us through the crossback pattern? No, I don't mind at all. Fabulous, because I know yeah. a lot of people are checking out on it. We did do a full um, demo of it. Um, I will try and again find out the date for you so you can watch it back. But we can talk through it anyway, because um, this is again another one that you say a lot of your designs have come from, uh, you know, family. Family. Things I've done from fa for yeah. family, yes. And there is also, um, I've also done different pocket designs for Sewing Street. Oh, have you? There's um, a crayon design for a children's pocket. I could have brought the samples with me, couldn't I? Um, and um, what else did I do? Oh, an artist palette. Oh. The pocket was half of it was the art artist palette and the other was appliqued above it. And I did the Christmas pudding. I love oh. the Christmas pudding. <laughs> Christmas pudding is great. And yeah. these fabrics are gorgeous. I wonder if we have any other the Christmas fabrics on the website as well. I think we sold out on the you sold um, out on yeah. the day of this. But I think as Christmas comes on, there'll be more, won't there? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. We're trying to get them all in earlier. Uh, so. Um, I've heard from Kat that this is really, really easy to sew. It's only literally got two shoulder seams. That's it? That's it. Yeah, you do the two shoulder seams and then you bind all the edges with bias binding. This one, if I, the one up the back there, let's move that one out of the way. Put this out of the way. You've made the room smell I'm, lovely though I'm with at, the uh, <laughs> lavender best press. I'm at that, um, what were you saying earlier about PVA glue? Oh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, sit and peel it off I'll after peel the show. It off, yeah. <laughs> Oh, thank you for bringing that. I mean, that, that might be dry well. by the time we finish. This one. Brilliant. It was on the 4th of July was the day that we did the um, crossback apron. This one is actually reversible because all I did was lay two layers together and did the shoulder seams and then and did the bias binding around the outside edge. So, yeah, you've got your two shoulder seams and then... I normally start on the inside so that the join in the bias binding is underneath the flap. And if I go around the outside, there's there's no other joins other than your bias binding because you start here and you go all the way around the outside. Gosh, that's crazy. That's such a clever design, isn't it? 
go all the way around the outside, go around the bottom, and then you're back at your join. Gosh, that's so clever. When I did this um, on the show, it was um, with John, and he challenged me because he said, how long would it take you to do it then? I said, oh, I don't know, probably, I, don't, I could probably do it in 15 minutes. So what happened? Go on then. Yeah. <laughs> challenge accepted. Now, Alison's taken on the challenge of doing this in 15 minutes. Did you do it? I did. Oh, amazing. With two minutes to spare. Uh, uh, the adult one might take a little bit <laughs> little longer, bit longer to do, yes. but the children's um, one's yeah. great. And it, you can get it out of a metre of fabric, yeah. the adult one, as long as it's 150 width. Okay. Um, if it's a narrower one, you can't use a directional fabric because you have to cut it, you have to fold it over with selvages down both sides. Right. So it, you can't have a directional fabric because it will be going, well, mm -hmm. unless you don't mind it going around your middle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely. And just to confirm, so inside the pattern, it's got the adult, we've only got the children's ones here, but it's also yeah. the full, yeah, the, the adult size as well. Yeah, it goes pattern from um, 21 inch to 33 inch children's sizes. Um, and then a lady's 10 to 18. Amazing. That's so good, isn't it? So great sizes, both patterns for just 14 99 A warning, by the way, we started with 50 of these earlier on today. We've literally just been mentioning it a couple of times and we're down to 15 of these oh, patterns. Gosh. This is another one that's going to sell out. Everyone Thank loves you, everyone. you, loves your patterns. <laughs> Thank um, you. There was another question I was going to ask about this pattern and I can't think what it is. If you have got any questions for, for Alison, please, please do get them in while she's here. Um, you're on the Facebook oh, page the as Facebook well, aren't page. you? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm thrilled that that lady's done a little tiny one from the diagram on the front mm -hmm. oh. for her granddaughter six inch teddy bear. That's such a good idea. That's just a photograph. That's brilliant. <laughs> I will message you, but I can't remember what your name was. So I'll have a look when we finish today. <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Thank you ever I mean, so much. It's been amazing right. to finally meet mm -hmm. you. Do you know uh, what date you're going to be back next? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not on the Two top of your head. Time. Two, Two weeks, weeks time. time. Yeah. Brilliant. Do you have your uh, your projects all? Ready. I've got one. One is another one of my kits. Oh, you're taking um, some home with you, in fact, to get started, aren't oh, you? Oh, yeah. This one is, um, we're still in negotiation. We're, I'm still in negotiation with Hayley about the other one. So oh, but one of them's my kits and one of them's a sewing street. Lovely. We look forward yeah. to meet, seeing you then in a couple of weeks. Thank you. Thank you. It's been very nice. Thank you. I hope your trip up the M6 isn't yes. too rainy yeah. on the way back. Yeah. Check your stress thing. I'm pleased yeah. you're calm at the minute. <laughs> it's not raining at the moment, apparently. All oh, right. that's good. Yes, because I, I had a very wet box when I came in. <laughs> and can I just say that Vic's hair is as beautiful <laughs> as it looks on the telly? <laughs> But she actually said that to me before I'd even brushed it this morning. Just like your eyes are beautiful. I was like, I have been so published. jealous. <laughs> Thank you. You're gorgeous. We love you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Um, if you haven't yet checked out on any of your baskets, any of your orders, and this is how you do it. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalog by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Oh, isn't she just a dream? We absolutely love her. So, um, the two shadow applique kits that we've had, the Hello Blossom and the Daisy Duo. Everything that you need in the kit to get started. So, the Hello Blossom one first is this one, the one that... Um, that Alison was working with on the show. You get everything that you need, even down to the voile, the cotton voile that goes in between all of the layers um, um, inside the cushion, but it just makes it more comfortable when hand sewing. You've got your lovely snow organza, which is ever so soft. It's not like as, um, 
as Alison was saying, it's not like the craft organza that's quite stiff and scratchy, it's beautiful and soft. All of your lovely fabrics, plus you get your webbing as well, and you get your instructions. Sorry, I'm just looking around to see where the kits are. I think Alison has scooped off with them. Oh no, she hasn't, hang on, I found them. Right, so, oh, I've got the wrong instructions. Bear with me, getting in a kerfuffle. So that's for these. You've also got all of your templates included, ready to um, transfer onto your webbing. So you have your pink, you've got your green, you've got your snow organza, you've got your little bit of yellow as well to go into the center of your flowers. You've then got your wadding, you've got your webbing, you've got your cotton, for your full cushion, plus then you've got your <laughs> voile. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> I did one sneeze, and then when you know you're thinking, oh, I could definitely go for another, and it, I lost it. It's the most annoying thing ever, isn't it? So then you've also got your voile, as I say, all included in the kit with your instructions for £19.99. That's your Hello Blossom. You're looking swell, Blossom. I've got a few more of those in stock compared to the Daisy Duo. Um, well, I say more of those. We've now got less than 20. <laughs> less than 20 of them. And they're lovely, nice... Um, poofy sort of cushions. They're really, really nice and full. You've got great, oh yeah, definitely get a nice big inners to go in. I always get the size bigger inner to go in my cushion. So then it goes really nice and, uh, and full. Now this one is your Daisy Duo. So you have, oh, by the way, there's only four left of these now. These will completely sell out. And just a reminder, it's at the discounted price. I don't know how, I don't know why. Just make the most of it whilst you can. When you watch back the demonstration on the 24th, it wasn't this price. It wasn't this price. Um, that was at, oh, it was 24th of May. Gosh, see this year, it's just strange, isn't it? We were like, it was in March. No, it was May. It's just, it's really difficult to keep up with the times. We'll be in September next week. Scary. So there's your um, Alice and Marion's instructions. A beautiful kit. And I love how much... I love how she really encourages and, uh, and enjoys hand sewing as well. It's nice to have that bit of slow sewing. So under here, I have got my fabrics, my lovely rose fabric. I've got my organza. <laughs> I've got my cotton, my webbing. <laughs> and your wadding as well. Plus your instructions, sorry, they're making me giggle. Uh, for £19.99, that's your fault, Hayley, if you're watching. £19.99 for all of your exclusive Sewing Street instruction pack. Now, there's only three of those available. We started with more. Well, we started with a lot more. <laughs> we started with more. Thanks for that, Cat. <laughs> we did start with more than three. We started with loads of these, and well done, everybody who's managed to get hold of them so far. The cushions are beautiful. I'd get both of them. I think they look lovely together, don't they? For £40, that's really, really good value. For accent cushions, you can pay £40 for them on their own. Now, also, the Oda coat um, you saw Alison using was this one. It's Odif from Odif and it's um, amazing. It's the same one as before. You might have had it already in the past, but they've changed the packaging, but it is the same and it's really, really gorgeous quality. So inside, as I say, it looks a bit like PVA glue. Spread it on with an old loyalty card or credit card as, as Alison was demoing and it will make it water resistant. Um, you can use it with any of your fabric. So if you're using it on denim, if you're using it on linen, if you're using it on cotton you can use it on virtually anything so it's transparent and acid free provides protection for fabrics accessories and objects and um, cotton jean and lace you can even use it on lace once dry it creates uh, sort of like a, a shiny film that resists against stain at uh, stains and humidity so it does give you a great um, a, all of your instructions on the back of how to use it, but it does suggest to just leave it for about 20, 30 minutes between uh, between spreading other layers. And then once you've completed it, you can still wash it at 30 degrees and it will come out of the wash absolutely fine. Um, 
that pot's going to last for a lot of projects as well. And honestly, yes, it's brilliant when you're thinking of a project to make and you're doing your fabric first before you're cutting out and before you're sewing. But I spent so much time going, what can I eau de coat next? Notebook covers and all sorts that I'd already made up. So I know they sort of suggest to use it before, but I've used it on already made projects and it's fine. I mean, you could even do shoes with it, couldn't you? Alison says she's going to try and do a pair of shoes. I wonder what it's like with a pair of canvassy shoes or something to eau de coat them. Might give it a go, might give it a go. £14.99, if you want more multiple layers, it will give it that more shiny finish, which I think is just adorable on these little, I mean, that one hasn't got eau de coat on, but um, for, for these aprons, it'd be absolutely perfect. No. Um, right, I haven't got the one with eau de coat. If you type in the word Alison Marion on the website, then you'll be able to find all of her makes, including the apron pattern. The crossback apron pattern is for adults and children. You get patterns for both sizes. Um, we're extremely, extremely limited. It all comes in a lovely little bag as well. So if you go to the, uh, the, uh, the website, www.sewingstreet.com, Alison with a double L, search, and there you can see all of her kits. So you've got the folded bag, you've got the applique cushions, you've got the cross bag pattern, you've got the EPP from this morning on there as well. She's a brilliant demonstrator, isn't she? So that's a clear and lovely. She's just a lovely woman as well. <laughs> just wanted to let you know there are a few of the kits from this morning and a couple of the, uh, the other folded bags last time she was here available on the web. Um, but definitely make the most of that cross back uh, apron pattern because that will sell out today. Now, um, coming up in the next hour, we are going to bring you everything that we possibly can. And we know oh, there's so much to mention. Kits, books, threads, accessories, loads to do in the next hour. So whatever you do, do not move a muscle. Stay with us, check out View Baskets, and we'll see you back in the next few minutes. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Rosie Weld. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're going to adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits, feeling good, it's about looking great, making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside, and it's about the life that you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com.
Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break, uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well and then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it so now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon, thank you. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Hope you're having a lovely, lovely day in the rain. Stay with us, stay with us. We've had the kettle on. We've had a nice little cup of tea, sneaky little tea. Um, it's just that, day, it's that sort of day, isn't it, where you just want to stay in, keep drinking cups of tea and little biscuits and things, treat yourself. So we've had an amazing day today. It's just a joy having Alison here. She's in She's incredible and she's such a lovely, lovely lady as well. So it's been a pleasure being on air with her today. And we've got one more hour and look at how much stuff we've got to get through. So I'm going to start by talking about um, fist scars, which we briefly were talking about some of the tools from earlier on. Uh, the scissors, we had the little snips, we had the pinking blade, we had the pivoting rotary cutter. We've now got the... Um... <laughs> Was that Alison coming to say goodbye? Somebody literally just came into the uh, studio and whispered something, but I couldn't see. Oh, it's you, Kat. Kat came running in to go, less than 10 in stock. And I know why, because of this saving. So this is your fist scars cutter and rotary um, ruler combo. Your rotary cutter and ruler combo. Plus, you also get your, changing, uh, your blade changing tool with it. Now, normally, this is, I'm sure that is normally about 30 pounds, isn't it? In fact, it says here, 31.49 RRP. So your blade changing tool is normally 31.49. So it's a great saving. That's got five rotary cut blades in there, 45 millimeter rotary blades. And the way that this works, it's a ruler, it looks a bit like a guillotine. So it's a ruler and Fiskars um, rotary blade, uh, a ruler and cutter combo. It's got a 45 millimeter blade inside and it's only engaged when you press it down. It's got a lovely sort of cushioned grip. So if you're, if, you're, if you struggle with a rotary cutter, um, then, or, you know, uh, if you struggle, struggle, struggle with your grip, I can't talk today, struggle with your grip, then I find that this is really good as all you need to do is, is sort of press down and not too much pressure either. It's, it's, it's really nice and easy to do and slide along like that guillotine, metal part. You've also got the ruler which is really lovely and accurate so any of your cuts that you want to do whether you be left-handed or right-handed um, then that is absolutely ideal but the best thing about this right now we've always seen this it's always been extremely popular but now getting it with the brain changing uh, the blade changing tool is a um, absolute game changer. You get all five of these. Did I say brain changing tool? I think I need a brain-changing tool set. I can't, 
can't talk and it's really annoying me. Just so you all know, what's stressing me out about today is that I'm, I'll be on telly till eight o'clock tonight and I can't even talk after three hours. Oh no. If you think it's funny, if you want to see, um, if you're thinking I'm struggling now, put me on on our sister channel on Jewelry Maker at seven o'clock tonight and then I will need a brain changing tool. $64.99 for your Fiskars rotary blades and your changing tool. Right, can we, st can we stop there please? <laughs> <laughs> we know how popular this is. Whenever we have it in on its own, it's always really popular. It's less, the last, did you say five? Less than 10, less than 10 of these, that's it. So if you do want to make the most of it, it comes with uh, no additional P and P cost either, even though it's a big parcel, no additional P and P cost. Right, I'm gonna put that down here just to save some space. Kits this hour, we've got loads of kits coming up. Plus, should we do the design wall? So this is um, your design wall, which has been so popular. We always talk about having dressmaking mannequins, um, a dress form and an adjuster form that we stock here. Whenever you've seen any of our shows selling adjuster forms, we often talk about, of course, having that, um, having that perspective of being able to see colours, whether to check that the colours are working or things are positioned in the right place. This is like that for quilters, basically. So it's, oh, is this the K-Facet one? This is the K-Facet one as well. So basically, if I open this out, this one, it's great. It's almost like um, a woolly sort of felt, which will adhere your fabric to. So you can pin this onto a wall. I've seen people who do it onto big sort of plywood boards, um, onto like one of those exhibition boards, if you've got anything, or clip it onto something else. I mean, I can show you. If I clip this on, I think you might have seen this with, um, with Neil. So. These. Right, now, if I clip this onto here, I'm quite short. <laughs> I'm not as tall as Neil. Have we got another clip somewhere? Let me find. One second, let me just open these bags. What's the magic trick? I didn't know that you appeared, Paul. I didn't realise that that was the whole trick. No, I didn't realise that. One second. So, if I clip this up, then you do not need to put any pins into your fabric. I haven't even got any pre-cuts to show you. Any, um, so, thank you. Sorry, I've been really unprepared for this hour now, haven't I? This was, we were supposed to do this at nine o'clock today. And um, I think that's what's um, thrown us a bit. But anyway, so all of your fabric will adhere to this and it means that you can then sort of step back Check that you're happy with any of the placements. See that colours are going to work together. I really like that you've got the cross hatch, well, you've got that square grid on it so that you can then, again, just check your accuracy, accuracy and check your, your precision. But thank you, Paul. So, without pinning, it's just going to stay there. How good's that? That's not on the desk, by the way. That is literally on the wall there. So that will just stay where you are. And if you do want to make sure, as you say, you're getting things quite accurate and checking how it is, then um, you've got the, the grids on there as well. So it's a meter and a half of this fabric. It's a flannel, it's like a felty wool flannel, that's what it is. It's a real special fabric to be able to do it. Um, but it is ideal then that if you do want to pack it down, of course, easy to do so, easy to just put up somewhere and whether you're clipping it on with your wonder clips or you're putting it onto some wood or the back of a, a door or something like that, really, really handy indeed. It's just good to be able to see, like we say with dressmaking, we talk about getting perspective from a distance. If you're putting fabrics down on the table, quite often I'll suggest taking a photograph of it because then just seeing it again from this angle as opposed to looking down on it, you get a different perspective. But they're great. Literally only launched on Saturday with Neil and it was very, very popular indeed. $26.99. It's brilliant to be able to get them on the show because we've never been able to have them so far. We're still obviously relatively new. We only launched in February just before the madness started in the world. So it's taken ages for us to be able to get these in. But this is the one that Kay Facet actually teamed up with Free Spirit to be able to, to create. Just $26.99. $26.99. Okay, 
I, I won't try and put it away. I'm so bad at putting packaging back into, it was difficult um, on Saturday to do. Azure is your blue. So we saw the, um, the saving on the bundle earlier on. The Azure blue, loads of you are checking out on. So I just wanted to show you, as we only briefly sort of said, you can get it on the web. If you want to get it on its own, it's 140 wide. So it's a huge panel. And blue is, well, it's always been the favorite color, hasn't it? Of course, it's the Pantone color of the year is classic blue. And I think actually next year's color of the year, 2021, is like this, um, they like pastel-y colors, pastel-y blues. So very, very on trend indeed. And I must say, it's just, it's just always popular, isn't it? In any world, blues are always gonna be popular. The geometric prints and that lovely little design is gorgeous. Now these are two and a half inch strips and I love the fact that we've got that little bit of wiggle room in between as well. So if you do want to cut these into your, your jelly roll or your design roll strips, your two and a half inch strips, ready to sub cut potentially, then that's ideal, isn't it? Or, I mean, you could do your bias binding with this, couldn't you? How about to do your apron? You could always cut your bias binding and you'll have the white um, stripes then in between as well. Really interesting. Um, so that's your Azure. We've got Sunset and we've got Berry. Don't forget, you can buy that whole bundle with a £10 saving. So if you do want to stock up on all your two and a half inch strips, these are exclusive to us and are at great prices anyway, bearing in mind for um, our design rolls, depending on what designer you're looking at, jelly rolls can cost up to sort of £40 each, double the price, and they're 112 wide normally. These today are 140 wide, so that's why I want to sort of show you the size of these panels and open them all out. You've got 16 strips and a lovely subtle ombre. One second, let me shimmy this over, there we go. There's loads you can do with these though. Maybe mix them in with your batiks, mix them in with any of your, of your other fabrics. We're seeing this as like a sunset ombre, but if you're thinking, right, there's my red strips, using those for Christmas makes, and then I'm gonna keep my yellows for my springtime makes. There's so much that you're gonna be able to do, and it's got such a subtle ombre, but if I pull this across, look at those lovely colors and the contrast in color. And again, you've got that wiggle room. If you do want to cut between these, you're definitely going to get your full two and a half inch strips. We spoke earlier on about Pamaniki Lintot. There is um, a Pamaniki Lintot, but they, they quite often use two and a half inch strips, actually. They're quite famous for using the, 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 um, the jelly roll quilts and strips. We'll have a look through them after we've done the, uh, the berry one. Um, so there's your sunset. And then we've also got berry. Me? Oh gosh, I am. I am a bit crazy today. Let's do the barrel. Oh, I need the card just to check what level my stress levels are. They're great, aren't they? I'd get quite addicted to doing that though. Paul wants one in the gallery. I'd never seen them before. I suppose it's a bit like a mood ring, isn't it? But yeah, she did do it this morning and um, after her, uh, after her trip in, I know it was ever so rainy on her way here, so she came in here, which was like, let me just do it now, and it was black, which means she was very stressed. And I was like, you're really calm to say how stressed that card says you are. She's very calm. Um, right, this is again exclusive to us. Never, uh, well, you can't get it anywhere else. 19.99 is a brilliant price point for how much fabric you're getting. Lovely pinks and deep berry tones as well for just $19.99. Haven't seen it on air for absolutely ages. We're so lucky that we've managed to get it back in. Remember, if you do buy all three, if you love all of the three colorways, then you can get it with a 10 pounds discount. So if you do want the pink, azure, and sunset, all three of the panels, saving yourself 10 pounds, 49 pounds and 97 pence. Loads of people have already done that today. Well done if you're one of those people who's taken advantage of that deal. Okay, now let me show you um, the book that I was just mentioning. It's great to get some inspiration. If you've lost your SOMO, 
Oh, so Joe. Your mojo for your sewing. Um, then this is brilliant. <laughs> Let's do this one. Right, this is your jelly roll quilt in a weekend. So you've got 15 great, quick and easy projects. I do indeed. Kat's just said you love this book. I do because I know a lot of us have got um, pre-cuts and, and two and a half inch strips in our stash or any of these panels that we've launched exclusively here have been so popular. You've saved £10 getting that bundle. Why not get a book? For less than £15, you've got 15 quick and easy projects. If you're not quite sure of what to do with all of your jelly rolls, even if you're using, um, you know, it, it is a bit of a... Uh, get started and you're not doing the whole block you're just taking snippets from it and you're going to do uh, cushions or bags from it you can use the blocks which are beautiful the scarlet steps would look great in your sunset colors or your azure any of the ones that we've been looking at today I know loads of you have already got this. Uh, if you've got any of these pictures, if you've made any of these quilts up, please, please, please let me know. Um, we had yesterday, our early bed was navy blue, which sold out. But if you want to team that with any of your lovely bright colours, they'd look awesome as a dark background like this. Some nice achievable projects. Quite often I think of two and a half inch strips and all I can think of is Bargello or around the world quilts. That's all I can think of when I see these panels. So just having something like this, having Pam and Nikki Lintot who are fantastic teachers, um, they're really really clear, they're fantastic at their books and they've got beautiful photography as well. <laughs> Fruit punch. This one's called Sundial. I want to see what the post-it note's for. Oh, it's picnic time. Have we got this one made up? I think we've got picnic time, actually. I think we've made that before. There's so many beautiful quotes that we've, um, that we've seen before on the show. They are absolutely gorgeous. The honeycomb one is the one that Wendy Orlando really, 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 really wanted to do. And she did it with batiks, actually, trying to put it together. But she just did that central flower. Paul, literally outside of the door, it's there. Um, and sh therefore you don't need to necessarily do the whole quilt you can just do that that's it the top one you can just do that placemat thank you so that's the honeycomb which was brilliant to see and that's done with two and a half inch strips again you can see how they've all been pieced together to create this honeycomb look you wouldn't know how you'd be able to do that would you that was Wendy Orlando, who's back in really soon, by the way. She's back in, I think, on Friday. And then this was the quilt. And this is using the barley pops. And that's the picnic time one, which are great, aren't they? Brilliant using your two and a half inch strips. And that, in fact, actually, is really, really similar to Wendy was telling us, oh, she loves the tutti frutti one as well. I think we might have done the tutti frutti. Very similar to the teepy town, sleepy teepy teepy town. Circle of friends. Where's the teepy one? It is in this book, isn't it? Um, which one? That one. That would look lovely in um, Christmas fabric, Cat saying. Oh, hang on. I've got to find this teepy one. It is in this book, isn't it? Or am I thinking of a different book? But I remember that Wendy was saying it was really similar. Once you know how to do this one, picnic time, you're then going to be able to do the, the teepee as well. Oh, it's probably when I skipped forward because I went, I didn't look through them all, did I? I went to, straight to the, um, the post-it note. Fruit punch. We saw that. Oh, I can't find it, but it is in here, I think. <laughs> I think I'm making it up. I've dreamt about that teepee one. Depending on how you place your fabric, this is going to really annoy me. 15 projects, including a TP one. I'm sure it had a TP one. Let me check the contents page in the front. I don't know if there is a contents page, Cat. Let's see. Oh, there you go. No, it's not this book. I think we're going crazy. Please leave your message in and tell us we're not going crazy because we remember she was saying, look, like this is similar to the TP one. Oh, dear. Anyway, you know what we mean. I'm hoping. Thank you. If you check my, um, my, my stress level now, yeah, it is pretty high. Sorry about that. I knew what I was talking about. 
we've got less than 10 of those books. Um, if you've always saw, if you have always loved that book, if you've seen Wendy working from it, um, then absolutely make the most of it. She uh, she used this bundle to put together the, the quilts, where you get the barley pops with all of those lovely autumnal uh, autumnal autumnal colours. If you did like this one. That gorgeous gold and sunshine yellow and these autumn gorgeous tones. And then you're also getting three metres of cream, which I think is really nice, actually. It's not as stark as using a white background. It will look great with this. So you can really have a dive into any of the projects in the book with this. It goes an awful long way. I tell you what, you're getting 40. 40 uh, of your strips. She's made this, she made the quilt, and she did some of her prep and demo projects using it. And it's less than 60 pounds, which is great value, isn't it? It's really, really good value. And lovely um, with the cream, as I say, but even if you're taking elements of these and using them with any of the panels that we've had, I just love that, especially we are, Kat says we're in autumn already, going into September, we are gonna be going into autumn. So these are going to be beautiful for all of your warm, warm projects. £59.99. pence. That was for your picnic time. Well done. So, we've got sensational quilts for scrap lovers from Annie's Quilting. Now, did we put a bundle together with this? No, I'm sorry. It's not Annie's Quilting at all. Um, this is great for anybody who, who hasn't got a big, uh, you know, stash of scraps and different fabrics that they've loved. $23.99, 11 easy projects for lovely, lovely projects and lovely quilts. So it talks to you about how to put together. <gasps> it's there. <laughs> this is so weird. Da -da 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 -da. Why is it there? 62. What on earth is going on? I'm, that's the one I was talking about. I, I was gonna sworn that was in the other book. Maybe we were working with both books with Wendy. This is with Sally Ann Harrison. I'm getting really mixed up here, aren't I? She did the Precious Metal one, which she said was very similar. That's where I'm getting confused. So these are the triangles in the Precious Metal quilt. Um, which you can just about see, it looks really sort of scrappy, which is great, using it with that. It's all right, I've only got another nine hours of teleo talking. I'll get there. Um, right, so what I love about this is it really talks you through. It was with Sally Ann Arison, and she was telling us about how we learn all about colour. So you've got your systems of colour selection for scraps. Um, talking through colour theory, I'm not very good at being creative, I don't think. Some people are, have got a, an artier mind than, my, than mine. Whereas I know there is a science behind it as well. And this book actually sort of dives into the science behind choosing colours from your scraps and picking out, it's got a colour wheel here, talking about um, colour, uh, and being able to do um, the mono, well, it's, it's got all of the different complementary colour schemes and, and, and split complementary colour schemes and how to find all of those shades in your stash at home to be able to create all of these. Now it talks about curved piecing. There's loads of different techniques that we're going to learn in this book, which we did with Sally M. And then you've got all of the quilt designs as well. £23.99. Oh no, I hope your mum's not watching today. If Paul's mum's watching today, um, please bear with me. She said that she, Paul just said, my mum loves you, Vic. She's been watching loads lately. And she says, you really know what you're on about and you're not stuttering and you, you don't go um between everything. And I'm thinking, oh gosh, that's all I've been doing today. I'm ever so sorry. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> there's your circle gets the square. All of the clover rolling presses are gone today. It's been ever so busy. Um, it's been lovely to have your company. Do remember, if there's anything that you would like to see, let me know.
Um, so that's your scraps. If you've got any questions or any photographs that you want to send it, whilst I'm here on my own this hour, it's nice to see all of your makes. So send them into studio at sewingstreet.com. Kat's got the email open today. Hayley couldn't work out how to do it yesterday. What do you mean you want to talk to somebody? You can talk to us. Come talk to us. She wants somebody to message in so she can have a chat. Um, right, now we've put together this bundle which we use for Sally Ann's um, refraction quilt. And they, I think they're just lovely fabrics together for any quilt that you might have in mind. If you want help with, you know, putting together fabrics that you know are going to work, then this is a really, really good bundle. So, um, in here you've got loads of greys, which I know we're really struggling to get more of the elephant grey. So you've got your two um, different grey fabrics and then you've also got all of your half metres, you've got your poplin weights, you've got your florals, your Lewis and Irene, your lovely metallic fabric. They're gorgeous, aren't they? In fact, right, let me give you the full breakdown because that is a lot of fabric for $64.99, isn't it? You've got eight metres in total. So you've got a metre of dark grey, a metre of elephant. And what did Hayley say earlier on about us really struggling to get navy blues and grey at the moment? Really struggling to get hold of it. So you get loads in that, in this bundle. You're then also getting half a metre of purple. This goes lovely with it as well half a metre of tulips, tulips on pink. Now that's a lighter weight cotton, it's a poplin weight, but it doesn't matter. I did ask Sally Ann um, this actually on air. I said, can you feel that when you're sewing with it? Does it make a difference? And she said, no, can't, I honestly can't really tell. If you're quilting with it, um, yeah, you, you can't tell the difference. You've then also got half a metre of your blue, which is poplin spot on powder blue. You've then got another beautiful poplin weight, spot white on plum, half a metre of each of these, half a metre of pink flowers on sky, half a metre of your rose, oh see that goes really nicely together doesn't it, half a metre of your rose poplin weight, half a metre of your midnight, lovely deep blue, then you've got Lewis and Irene designer fabric here, your sand castles. And if you're fussy cutting, you're still, I mean, they're, they're a good scale print that you notice them straight away. It's not a real ditzy print, but it's large enough that uh, you're, still, you're not gonna lose any of those elements if you are cutting it into smaller pieces for, uh, for any of the, whether it be the scrap quilt or whether with the, the jelly rolls. Because you could cut these into two and a half strips and make any of Pam and Nicky Lintot's quilts as well, couldn't you? Then we've also got, oh, I'd keep this for my Christmas projects, because look, it's got this metallic, amazing silver fleck to it. It's really gorgeous. And that's not on the top of the surface, that's actually built into the, the cotton. It's gorgeous. Half a metre of this one. Half a metre of your mottled blue. I really like that. It's peacock. It's called a peacock mixer because it's got that, um, model effect, it's brilliant. You then also got your navy blue stars, your teeny weeny stars. They look like spots on here, but they are little ditzy stars in midnight. And then this one again, I'd keep to go with my Christmas fabric, because it's got metallic spots on there, metallic silver spots. £64.99. Even if you know somebody that's just starting out sewing um, and wanted a, you know, a big stash of fabric to get going, this one we used for the um, Precious Metals one. I keep calling it refraction or reflection, but it was called Precious Metals. Thank you. Um, it was this one. Your Precious Metals. So all of this fabric, you'll get more than enough to be able to make a massive quilt. This quilt was 60 and a half by 70 and a half inches. Uh, but you can see just having that grey and then all of the different colours which you could also incorporate fabrics from your stash as well but this works really really well put together by our team especially for that scrap lovers book. Okay, 
but you can use it for any project. Maybe you've got a quilting project in mind or just have that big stash of fabric for loads of different smaller makes. Amount of things that you can make with just half a metre of fabric. Remember, half a metre is two fat quarters. You're getting eight half metres, no, eight metres in fact, eight metres. Two of those metres are greys, which are always very, very useful. And then you're also getting all of these. Is that 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 half metre pre-cuts as well. Brilliant value. They all complement each other beautifully as well. So that's a great stash builder. Um... Oh, I love this project. So it's Delphine's, which whenever Delphine is here, just very similarly to um, when Catherine Marion is here, um, it always is sellout shows. Now, this is all one kit. This is all one kit called Eat Your Yard, which you've got Eat Your Yard apron, gardener's apron. My mum and sister, they've just started um, their own allotment. I would love to make this for them. I really should. These are brilliant, aren't they, for that? So you've got your vegetable bag, you've got your cushion, and you've got your apron. So here it is here. Free motion lovers. You've got all of your instructions to be able to create. Oh, I just, they're just amazing, aren't they? They're absolutely gorgeous. They're where, sorry. Um, We've also got the bag and the apron somewhere, I believe. We'll find those in a second. So you then also get, let's have a look through your instructions. So you've got your step-by-step -step guide from Delphine of how to create your lovely apron. She does brilliant photographs and pictures and really, really clear instructions and demos. Do you know when this was on, Kat? Step-by-step -step on your applique and gorgeous free motion um, instructions and then your vegetable bag. Your vegetable bag is your step by step, step guide again from Delphine with all of your templates. £39.99 for all three projects. I don't know where the other ones have gone, you know. We had them earlier on. They're, they're not anywhere to be seen. The 8th of August anyway, you can watch it back on YouTube on the 8th of August and that's for the bag, the apron and the cushion. It's fabulous value for money, plus um, you get your charm pack as well. Let me show you. You get your charm pack from Moda and you're getting your fabric, which is lovely. All of these Moda canning days, she absolutely loved these. She drew inspiration from this Canning Day range when she tried to think, right, what shall I make? She had the, um, the charm pack. There's loads that you're going to be able to make with this. It goes a real long way. So the charm pack, you're getting 42 five-inch squares. And when you're doing little elements like this, they do go a long, long way, don't they? And you've got all of the cream to get going. So you've got plenty of fabric there to make all three projects. Less than £40. I can't wait to see them all on Facebook. Please, please do post them on Facebook. They're exclusive to us as well. How lucky are we? Because Delphine is just, she's so talented, isn't she? She really, really, really is. I'm going to pop this back up here. Hello, Maxine. Uh, Maxine did the Starburst. The Starburst quilt. Oh, let's see. Did you send a picture? Oh, please send in a photograph. We'd love to see it. The Starburst picture was this one. The nine patch starburst, sunburst. Was it that one, sunburst or starburst? Oh, oh gosh, that's amazing. That looks really, really similar to the one that we've seen before in that modern um, Joe the book that Hannah absolutely loves. The, the, yeah, the modern rainbow quilting, but you know the one where you see his little feet out of here. Um, but that reminds me very much of it. It looks like they've got cave fabric in that one, doesn't it? That looks like a facet fabric. It's going to look beautiful with Tilda as well. It'd look great with any of you. You could almost do that quite scrappy, couldn't you? But it looks like you've got like a grey spot background. Oh, exciting. Extremely limited on that. What about having them as an ombre across from the, um, you're thinking from the middle out, or you could have it across, couldn't you, or diagonally across. $14.99, there are literally a handful of those books left. Well done. Thanks for uh, messaging in. Let me know what else you've made. 
Right, we've also got this book that I picked up earlier on with the bookmarks, which have now all sold out. Well done if you managed to get it. This is a great price as well. Oh, in fact, hang on, it's not with the bundle. <laughs> I was thinking, yeah, that is a great prize. You get all that fabric. So $8.99 for 11 quilt projects. How good is this? Quilting for the home. So you've got a nifty napkin basket, or you could keep your fruit or bread. That could be a bread basket. Confident beginners can do that. Um, table runners. You've got bigger quilts. You've got uh, a cherry marmalade topper. This will look nice with your batiks, those barley pops we saw. All of your templates as well are to scale. This maple leaf cushion I absolutely love. I think that'll look beautiful with felt applique. Again, with the, with the barley pops for autumn would be beautiful. Or what about for Christmas? You could do it in Christmas fabrics as well. Pastels for spring, you could do it for all year round, in fact. Different fabrics change the look completely, doesn't it? Your home sweet home, different wall hangings. So what I love about Aline's quilting books is that you get really good value for money. You've got so many projects in here. Only, only six left of these in stock. They will sell out any second now. If you're watching on a replay, it's definitely worth asking availability of anything that you've seen. But still, I would check out as soon as, I, as, soon as you can if I were you. All your quilting basics in the back as well. Right, I'm trying to think. We did the magic carpet quilt from this book, I think, which was on the 17th of August. 17th of August, it was this one. Your magic carpet lap quilt, which looked absolutely beautiful. We had it in loads of blues. In fact, we had it in the, uh, the bundle, which I'll show you now. Um, the finish size is 48 by 60 inches. And in the bundle, obviously, you'll need the instructions from the book. But this is a great quilt bundle anyway, depending on if you're thinking of a different quilt in mind, maybe. But having these lovely blender fabrics, we're calling them blender fabrics quite loosely because they are gorgeous quality, but they just give that a lovely subtle texture to the eye without having to be a print. Six metres in total. So you're getting, how much are you getting, Kat? Six metres. Your purple two and a half meters, two and a half meters of your lovely purple, and it's really deep, rich, velvety purple, isn't it? Your cream is a meter and a half. Sky is a meter and a half as well. Gray is a meter. Peacock is half a meter. Ah, oh, do you know what? We've absolutely maxed out on this bundle. Some of the, the fabrics that you can see here aren't even available by the half meter. Everything has been cut for this bundle. They go together really nicely. Even if you haven't got a project in mind, great chance to get six meters of fabric ready to go for, for, for when you do scout through your books and you found a project that you want to do. That's plenty of fabric. £53.99 for six metres of fabric is brilliant. And it looked beautiful with the magic carpet one, didn't it? It did look really nice. It was quite moroccan -y, actually, if I remember rightly. It was like moroccan -y tiles, wasn't it? Or Spanish tiles. It was beautiful, really, really beautiful. Okay, you can watch that show back if you want. We did also do it in orange on the 17th of August. Who was this with? Can you remember? It was with Sally Ann, wasn't it? But the, um, the oranges look beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Six metres of your fabric. And this, again, has a completely different look. I love that sunshine yellow. That's one of my favourite fabrics that we've got in our, um, in our range. It's gorgeous. Two and a half metres of orange. Half a metre of your sunshine. A metre of uh, black braids it's called black bray it's a lovely deep sumptuous purple it's like that chocolate box purple if you know what i mean oh chocolate box purple a meter and a half of tan with that mottle effect that's not just shadows that's um it's like the texture of it and i don't mean texture to the touch i mean texture to the eye it's beautiful and then you also have a meter or a meter and a half Meter and a half of cream, wow, we get loads of fabric there. 
£53.99. The only way that you can get some of these fabrics is in the bundle. Lots of these are sold out by the half metre on their own. Just £53.99. Hello, Alison. You're right, Vic. Delphine is amazing. Working on two of her projects. She's so talented, isn't she? Oh, send in your pictures when you finish your projects. I know Delphine would love to see them as well. Um, if you aren't already on the Facebook fan page, if you post your makes on there, you might have seen the advert going out. We do something that's called the Make of the Week every week. So every Friday we announce the winner and, and myself and the other presenters, we all look through and we're on the Facebook fan page as well. So we're constantly scouting through and seeing all of your amazing makes. And we only can choose one winner a week. Uh, well, we all choose one each. So there's three winners every week. And it, it's just a lovely way of sharing your tips as well it's a really nice community it's a great family here and we we're quite a big family aren't we we're getting bigger and bigger so it's always lovely to have more newbies coming and joining us whether you're a complete beginner or a sewer or whether you've been sewing for years and years and years it's a great safe place to sort of chat and learn along so definitely go onto the facebook page if you haven't already okay now Yesterday, I got very, very excited because I got to talk about Christmas. Not yesterday, the day before. Um, it was so good. It was so, so good. Lewis and Irene yesterday was just a bit chaotic, wasn't it? We had some amazing fabrics, all at ridiculous discounted prices. Um, in fact, we had this one, didn't we, in red? So, we have 36-inch square quilt, which looks, the finished one looks like this. I've got the quilt top anyways to show you. But what I love about it, it's not Christmas. I would actually say I wouldn't call this Christmassy. I'd call this wintry. So I'd put this out in like November or October even after Halloween, put it up and then you can keep it in uh, your home until like March or April, couldn't you? You have got your lovely little robins and deers and things, but it's not screaming novelty Christmas, is it? Do you know what I mean? It's not screaming, it's Christmas. It's quite classy, I love it. Not like I did. Oh, yes, this afternoon, um, I'm on our sister channel, Jewelry Maker, and I've got Christmas. It's Christmas today and um, yesterday at Jewelry Maker, so I'm excited to put my Christmas jumper on. Well, I, I tell a lie, it's my sister's Christmas jumper because um, mine are up in the loft still, and uh, Kieran didn't fancy going up to the loft to get me my Christmas jumper down for the show. I nearly had to wear the, the pet hat that I wore for 20 minutes the other day and it nearly cut off circulation in my head. So I said, I can't wear it for, for four hours. <laughs> right, so all of these fabrics are already kitted for you from Sally Abbott. They, Albert, they, um, Ablett, sorry. They're all already cut and ready to go for the quilt. So you've got everything that you need there. I love that one. It's like fireworks, isn't it? You've then also got your lovely um, robins, you've got your deers, these two in different colourways. What's that, sorry? Your berries. Oh. Right, I see. So you won't get this at home. Oh, you will. Oh, but you're not paying for it. So you're paying just for the fabrics and then this is for free. Amazing. So you get all of your fabrics, all of your cutting instructions, all of your um, written instructions there from Sally for $39.99. The fabrics are brilliant. They really, really are. They're such beautiful quality Lewis and Irene fabrics and you've got loads to be able to do that great size 36 inch square lap quilt. We love Lewis and Irene. Have a look on the website. Type it in the website because yesterday we did the biggest discounts on Lewis and Irene brand new fabrics. I mean, there were fabrics that had just come in. We had this one in red by the half meter and it was amazing. It was so beautiful. We had all the little mice fabric. We had some great blenders as well. We had some that were quite Liberty-esque actually. There were some really gorgeous fabrics and they were all 5.99 a half meter. Um, there was also Tilda 5.99 by, uh, by the half meter as well. Uh, so type in um, Lewis and Irene or Tilda fabrics. The little angels one was, was, was 5.99 and a half meter. Crazy, crazy prices, still available today on the website. Right, now, the value for money in the thread, we touched on it earlier, but I just want to make sure that everybody has checked out on this. 
your Gutemann gorgeous quality threads. These are all your 50 weight universal sew all threads. And you're ready because this is like a lovely reveal. It's got a lovely tin inside 48 of your sew all threads. So all the colours of the rainbow. So you've got all of your neutral colours, your beautiful sunset into your autumnal shades, your greys and your, your browns and your really lovely uh, mocha shades. Then look at how many different reds you've got here. So you're really going to be able to match it up with any of your fabrics. Um, you've got your blues and purples. That's a great selection of blues and purples going into your greens and then into your deeper khaki greens to black to grey, so these are going to be great for EPP. Um, brilliant thing about Gutemann Sew All 50 weight threads is that you can use them in your sewing machine, you can also use them in your bobbin, you can use them for dressmaking, for quilting, for piecing, you can use them for applique, you can use them for hand sewing. Um, there's not really much that I wouldn't suggest using. You can still use them for top stitching. We do do the uh, Gutemann 70 weight top stitch thread um, which is slightly bolder but if you are starting out and you're thinking right I want to make sure I'm practicing my top stitching before I'm using a 70 weight thread then it's definitely worth you know giving a go with these um, and it's going to go a long long way the value for money is fantastic including your posting packaging and including the tin we're at 133 a spool now if you've already paid your PMP because you've opened your order earlier on this morning then we're at 124 a spool and they're going to go a real long way and then you've got the tin that you can use now just so you know this is the best value for money Gutemann thread pack that we stock um, I think it might be the best one we've ever had, in fact, and it's definitely the best one that I've ever seen. And it's um, now down to the last 10, less than 10 of these, in fact. I just love the tin as well, that it comes in, the detail of the tin. Um, it's always nice to see the, the you know, different advert campaigns uh, from Gutemann. But beautiful array of colour. That would be such an amazing gift for somebody. <gasps> We're always thinking about the fabrics that we're using and the, the patterns and inspiration, but obviously when we're sewing, what is holding those pieces of fabric together? Your thread. One of Debbie's top tips was always go for the best quality fabric, uh, sorry, go for the best quality thread that you can because it means it's not going to break as much, it's not going to snap, it's not going to create much lint in your machine. You get beautiful colours as well with your uh, polyester threads. Going, well, you can see it's going at $59.99. That is a phenomenal price. I'm hoping we'll get some more of these back because it's been fabulous value for money, hasn't it? But I don't know whether we'll be able to get any of those back in at that price. We've got the smaller packs, which are still, you're looking about $170 a spool. 160 a spool, um, but this at 120. Even if you were to buy them individually in the shops, I've seen them between sort of 150 and two pounds a spool, about 170, 180. So that is great value for money to say also you get your lovely tin. Great, um, it is a really lovely um, pardon. Oh, if you run out, it's all on the, um, it's all on the, see, it's all on the top of the, the thread so that colors 111 for example so if you do run out and you really enjoy and you really like a certain color you can of course purchase more of them because the great thing about buying from a reputable brand like Goodman is that you can know that you're going to get the consistency on color so if you buy 158 and you buy it in two weeks or a month or six months 158 is still going to be the same purple so that's good to know I'm hoping we're going to get more of those because we've got less than 10 of those remaining. Maxine. Hello, Maxine. Thanks for your message this morning. She sent a picture in. Oh, it's the Starburst quilt. It is amazing. Is that Tula? Is that the Tula handmade, homemade range? Oh, Maxine, that is amazing. That one, by the way, is the same one that we were talking about earlier from the, the Jelly Roll Quill. It looks so impactful, doesn't it? Using those gorgeous colours. And then have you got just a white background? And you don't necessarily need to do too many, you know, too much crazy quilting with it, do you? Oh, yeah, one second. So, just showing you your instructions. Maxine, thank you so much for sending that in. 
There you go. All of your instructions in making the quilt, the sunburst nine patch quilt. So what you're going to need, one jelly roll. So you use one jelly roll or 42 and a half inch um, strips. So if you're using, say, your batiks, uh, your barley pops, then that's going to be ideal. Um, you then also need two and a half meters of background fabric, and then you need half a meter for your binding. Or you could do scrappy, scrappy, um, scrappy binding, couldn't you? But I love that. That looks amazing in the um, the Tula as well, doesn't it? <gasps> Exciting! Fourteen ninety nine. Get all your pictures coming in. It's great to see your makes. It really is on this wet and miserable Tuesday morning. Thanks for cheering us up. Oh, apparently it's brightened up upstairs. It's uh, windy though. Good washing weather. Good drying weather. Right, we've got 10 minutes. Talking about Tula Pink, oh, we've got some Tula Pink Aurifil threads. Now, just talk about Gutterman. Um, This is the great thing about Sewing Street is that I like to offer you um, different brands, different threads. You know, a lot of people use cotton thread, a lot of people use polyester thread. No right or wrong necessarily, it's just what your personal preference is. What I love about these, I know that Tula Pink only uses Aurifil. She's designed all of the, the artwork for the packaging and you can tell, can't you? It's a whole new world of Tula. So in here you're getting 12, sorry, 20 I should say, of your 50 weight. So same as the, the other ones that we were talking about, you can use these virtually with any sewing that you're doing in your bobbin or in your, your sewing machine for hand sewing, for applique, for quilting, for piecing. I know that Tula only uses cotton thread. Now, it's um, polyester is obviously a lot different to how it were produced a long time ago. Um, it's, it, it is fantastic quality and very, very strong, obviously. But the cotton from Aurifil is, again, very, 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 very strong indeed. And, of course, you can see from Tula's range, you've got some of the brightest colours I've seen in cotton threads. 50 weight, you get on here 200 metres. So, in fact, actually, let's work out value for money on this because I always thought Aurifil was quite an investment and I would never normally talk to people unless they were a bit further along their sewing journey. I wouldn't say it's an essential to start with your Aurifil threads, but actually the value for money is really good. So you've got 200 meters on 20 spools. So you've obviously got uh, 4,000 meters. So, oh, hang on, no, 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 sorry. I'm trying to work out our price per spool, that's it. Oh, but it's, it's double the amount then on the Guterman threads. So if we do price per spool, 20 spools, 334, and then we half that. See, 167 a spool is very, very comparable to I know what you can pay even here for your Guterman threads. So it, it is brilliant value for money. And if you've got any of the Tula picks, I know Maxine, you've got the obviously the uh, the handmade or homemade, I can't think what, what it's called, um, collection from Tula Pink. These colours are going to match in perfectly. You've still got your your, your neutral colours in here, but then you've got some beautiful colours that you'll recognise quite a lot with, til uh, with Tula. £66.99, 100% co co uh, cotton, quality thread made in Italy. It's absolutely stunning and you get 200 meters on each. When these launched, they sold out in minutes. They sold out straight away. We had loads of these booked in and they sold out in minutes. Um, I know how much, a lot of people who use cotton fabric like to use a cotton thread to go with. Um, and especially these colors for quilting or for applique are gonna be beautiful. Look at how lovely the box is. Look how lovely it's presented. So all 20 colours for $66.99. So we've met our lovely Alice and Marion today. The bundle that's next to me is another kit from Alice and Marion, which is the folded um, origami. I know what Paul loves a bit of origami. I always get origami mixed up with oregano. There's one that you put on your pizza, isn't there? <laughs> And there's one that's a folding technique. Paul likes oregano and origami, and he made a T-Rex over lockdown, folded paper. Um, this is anyway your origami shoulder tote bag. So, all of your um, instructions are here. 
She was wearing hers today, actually, wasn't she? We panicked her a bit this morning because we went, oh, you're your folded bag on, you're a gummy bag on. And she went, yeah, thinking that we were meaning, you're going to you're gonna demo it now then. She's like, oh, I wasn't prepared for that. But um, no, you also get all of your fabric. Now, there were originally four bundles. There are only... Well, there's only one left. This is the only bundle left. So you get your all of your fabrics, which is cotton canvas. Um, I think it's a meter, a meter and a half, I think, and then half a meter of your pattern fabric. Plus, you're also getting your premium polyester craft wadding in there as well. That's to make a beautiful bag. That looks really designer, doesn't it? It looks really nice. $27.99 is a great project. And when you see it coming together, it looks a technique that's quite difficult, but actually watch it back on YouTube and absolutely, it's, it's a really achievable um, technique. So this fabric was from the Wildflower Woods range, which we launched just a couple of weekends ago, a couple of weeks ago, and it was very, 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 very popular indeed. It's lovely, isn't it? So you've got half a metre of this and then a metre and a half of your navy cotton canvas. The cotton canvas is great for bag making because it does add uh, lovely structure. With your navy um, cotton canvas, it looks lovely, doesn't it? So those two together, $27.99. Right, so all of the other bundles and color, different colourways are completely sold out. We're now down to the last three of these folded origami um, shoulder tote bag kits. That's it. And once again, the date to watch this back, if you do want to see this on YouTube, Alison Marion was actually here live and you can watch her demonstration back on YouTube. If you go onto the normal YouTube, type in Sewing Street, um, Alison Marion uh, and the day. Oh, no, in fact, to be honest, if you just type in Alison Marion on Sewing Street, it should come up with this. Do you think, Kat? I'm telling you, and Kat's going, mm -hmm, yeah, I think so. Oh, don't worry. Alison Marion, and remember, Alison is with a double L, A double L I S O N, Marion. Well, sorry, I shouldn't have put you on the spot there. 15th of August. 15th of August. 15th of August, if you want to watch that back on YouTube. What other things haven't I shown you? Let's see. So. 13th of August, I'm going to tell you now because she's got it written down. The 13th of August was when we bought to you Debbie's Cow Creamers. And there wasn't a live cow on, on set, was there? I did promise that as well, didn't I? I'm so sorry. Um, so, we've got two different, two different colourway options. So, let's go with the pink first. So, you get your lovely Debbie Shaw instructions, which are exclusive to Sewing Street, which is fantastic. We know, obviously, how famous um, Debbie Shaw is for her books and instructions and her teaching. She's a fantastic, fantastic teacher. In the bundle, I think it was bundled with Thermalan, actually. We've run out. Um, if you do have any Thermalan at home, then this is going to be ideal for it, but it's not particularly necessary. If you're making maybe the, um, the oven gloves, I would put a couple of layers of it in. Um, but we didn't want to give you a meter when you won't, might only be using it for you know a small piece or you might already have some at home so these panels are absolutely huge and they are gorgeous quality 28 pounds 99 everything that you've got there including your bias binding your pot holder um you've also got all of your debbie shaw labels it's exclusive to us with beautiful colors and that is to make and do you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking even more value for money here. You've got your tea cozy, which is reversible. Well, it's not reversible, but it's one that's got a lovely lining. You could just use your own lining from your scraps and keep that and make another one or make something else with it. So you've got loads. You've also got a pot holder, but it's got a really lovely back. You could just use a plain fabric if you're happy to do that and keep the fabric for another project. Same with the oven gloves. We've got beautiful cow creamer oven gloves. And then on the inside, you guessed it, we've got really nice fabric, which again, you could use your scraps. But it's up to you. It's lovely. So if you are using your own lining, you could make this go twice as far. What I'd do is I'd just trace out your, your pattern pieces so that you've got them there if you want to do it again with your own fabric. $28.99, so if you do want to, to, to reverse them. You've also got some applique little cowls. 
Look, you applique cow creamer. So you could put that onto like an apron or you could put that onto something else, a cushion or something, couldn't you? So Debbie's always giving us extra, always giving us extra. So that's the pink one. We have also got the green. Right, so the green is exactly the same. I'm just putting it on the shelf downstairs. <laughs> this time in green. I'm not going to open this all out because um, yeah, I know that you've seen this before. £28.99. If you do want Thermalan, it's sold in metre pieces and it's the one that hasn't got the metal strips running through, um, but it makes it uh, keep the heat in or keep the cool in. So if you're making anything that you want to keep warm or lunch boxes to keep cool, Thermalan is brilliant. It's like a compressed fleece. It's an official Visaline product and it's brilliant value at £5.99. Tomorrow's show is brilliant, by the way. Pat and Preachers are back. We loved their first show. We've They've only literally had um, one show before, so John's going to be joined by lovely Gemma for the Isabella dress, part two of our Pat and Preacher extravaganza. Nine o'clock, we've got fabulous fabric. Ten o'clock, we've got the Grace Pinafore from Pat and Preachers. Have a look on the website. I think they're all already there. And then we've also got with our lovely John Creative Grids Masterclass. Plus, we'll be repeating Alison Marion's EPP travel sewing kit coming up at 12 o'clock. There's a few of those still in stock. Yesterday I had an amazing show with Catherine and we're going to re be repeating, I believe, next, the first hour of yesterday's show, which we had um, uh, amazing uh, crossback apron with, if you missed out of Alison's maybe, because that sold out completely today, so you can make the most of that with Catherine. Stay tuned and then tune over, stay with us for Jewelry Maker because I'll be there from two o'clock. So I'll see you then. Lovely to have your company today um, and John will see you bright and early tomorrow at eight o'clock.